Good morning, world. Hello, people. Let's get a camera on here as well. There we go. Hello, people. So, um, no end of camera problems. Uh, I feel for uh, Oz Flight Simulator. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Port Headland. Uh, Vruden says, does anyone know the ICAO? Let me put it on screen for you. Uh, we are going from YPPD, that's Yankee Papa Papa Delta, to Yankee Papa Papa Hotel. Bez Ria Milan says, good morning. Good morning to you too as well. Let me go back through the comments before we get in any further here. We also need to get Fly Live Studio. Now, um, my webcam stopped working, so I'm now using the GoPro. I've had to put in extra lighting because it seems to be pretty dark, so hopefully that's actually working well for you guys. Um, but yes, you are right above me. Um, and you're only two hand spaces away. <laughs> so, uh, all right, let's get back to the beginning here. The Flying Frog is here. We'll get his sound playing soon, I'm sure. Good morning, all. Weather is warm and clear all the way to Perth. Uh, it was a lightning storm uh, if I chose live weather, so I've just gone high clouds. Uh, I'm also live time though, so what are we? 7.06 a.m. Uh, we did talk about servers. I'm trying West USA still, but I'm getting occasionally a high ping, so I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Um, Sean Dale, a mate, six months membership. There goes Chunk in a. Oh, that looked like a Mr. Schmidt. 109. Um. Yep, six months, mate. That is awesome. Thank you very much for your support. Uh, that will come up in the end credits as well. And I'm going to start putting that in a lot of my other videos uh, when I start editing. Bruden, mate, welcome. Uh, the speed, I don't know. Um, what happened there? Are we actually getting a decent uh, upload? I think it's working. Uh, you know what I haven't got? I haven't got my music going. All right, let me know how that's going. No storm, I'm on live weather. All right, okay. It, it showed lightning and stuff. So, um, don't know. All right, let's see if things work. Uh, why is my guy playing with the music? Look at his hand going up and down. He's like... <laughs> what are you doing, mate? Both hands on the yoke. All right, maybe somebody else spawned in the same place that I did. All right, we got to learn how to fly this all again. Um, and if we break that canopy, we're not getting it back. So, um, sheesh, it's been a while. So I will use controls that I have. What am I missing? Am I missing some other steps? No, I think I've got those ones right. <clears throat> uh, from memory, there's some switches down here that I can't see normally. Starters, yep. Uh, landing lights. Uh, put our park brake on? Yeah, we do. Okay. Um, what else do we need? I need to get a button for my landing lights. Oh wait, can we not actually press that? Oh, that's a little sad. Oh wait, circuit breaker. Duh. I don't remember where they are. Chunk says, howdy Brett. How is my brother from another mother and father? Namesake man, yep. I'm um, doing really well. Uh, I did see you in a Mr. Schmidt, I'm sure. Uh, Sean Dale is there, and <coughs> excuse me, Kanga Zero One is there. Okay, so flight plan. Yeah, it's going to be a four-hour flight, uh, maybe even more, but we might push this. Now I was on full fuel. Let's just check that. All right, we are we are filled to the max, and it does say you can make it, but yeah, I don't know. Um, all right, what do we got? Gruden, there he is. Thank you very much. Wind is, uh, okay, so we want to go down that way. 
Alright, let's give this a go. Let's see what we can do. Can't break off. Um, and thank you very much for the eight likes that we've already gained. That's awesome. Uh, now, you are looking at more, more of my forehead. At least I'm not receding too badly at the moment. Um, but the camera's above my head. Uh, it's a GoPro one. I didn't have time much to uh, remount. Why have I got a blue line here that I... Whoa, there we go. Yeah, it's a Mr. Schmidt. Sean Dale, mate, you got lots of pink on your plane. Uh, I don't have liveries installed, so I don't know why that should be... I've actually uninstalled a lot of my liveries and a lot of my mods um, just to try and make the thing run smoother, but uh, that should be a default. All right, Banjo Frog's going for that runway. Uh, mine tells me to go down here, so this is where I'll be going today. Now, what am I forgetting? Lights, probably. Got them on, thank you. Uh, I also saw a comment, ooh, Vruden's in the F30, whoop, F35B, and he's going to give me down turbines. No, he's not. Oh, look at him, look at him. That's some smooth flying there. Very nice. Oh, am I getting blown to the left because of you? That's what it feels like. <laughs> Still getting buzzed. All right, so if anybody else wants to come and join, you can. I'm just going to pull over this USB stick and turn off my Xbox control and back on because I'm uh, having a little trouble with it uh, disconnecting. Maybe my USB thing needs uh, redoing. There we go. All right, let me know how the music's going as well. Uh, I am also on uh, uh, Twitch for those who want to see it. CJ4 with flying docks delivery from Orbix. Ooh, did I uninstall the Orbix one? I might have, although I thought it was in... Um, no, not the flying docks one. I've, I don't think I've got that one. Wait, were we supposed to go there? No, it's going to give us a full. Alright, so we're going to try and follow the highway as best we can. We actually need to go and find it again. Alright. Uh, I'll take some brakes here, thank you. But we might take more right brake than anything. That's working. Yeah, okay. Rudin, mate, it gave me a, uh, on the, I remember cameras here in front of me, gave me an escort. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, let's get out onto the runway. We're not going to be using any, uh, ATC. Before I go and break it, because you know it'll happen, Banjo Frog looks like he's about to go and take off. I need to remember how to put my canopy down. Wait, no, that's the lock. We don't want the lock. How do we get the canopy down again? Oh, mate, I have not flown this enough. Um, there's somewhere here, there. It's there. There we go down and lock oh both sides work the same okay cool um we'll try not to run this flat out all the time also let me know how the sim sounds are going i did have them down but we'll get them back up a bit crop pitch mixture thank you I do love these planes, so nice. Banjo Frog's already up and I can see he's in a P-38. Whoa, I didn't even have to pull back on the stick on that one. All right, gear up, thank you. I didn't even get to 100% uh, throttle. Right, why? Ah, oh, because I had my uh, pitch. Oh, there we go, that's why. Okay, anybody see a highway? Anybody remember where the highway is? 
think it was pretty much over to the left here. Alright, what we'll do is we'll put our VFR map back up on the screen, show you guys where we're going. Alright, yep, this probably is the way we need to go. There we go. Guns, guns, guns. Wait, where's my, uh, where's, where's my icon, my head's up this way, oh, it's huddled, there it is. Just because he's, it's a Mr. Schmidt, and we want to, yep, yep. Hey, mate, stay still. Guns, 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 guns. <laughs> Alright, we won't do that all the time, we're going to run out of fuel. Um, okay, so... Highway. Is that it there? Could be. Could very well be. Actually, it might be. Okay, I have forgotten one thing. Sorry, everybody. I will put the uh, Fly Life Studio so you can see how fast I'm going and in what direction. Uh, now, we just want to watch speed and throttle. Now, can I fly level, hold altitude and heading, Ooh, is that going to work, alright so we're heading down to YSRK, so basically we're going to follow the uh, National Highway 1, I don't remember where my camera is there, there you go. Um, and I have marked a whole bunch of airports, flight plan is on my discord under announcements, yeah, we're going down to the coast, follow the coast and then a flight from uh, YGL right into Perth. Airport. So I'll get that out of the way. Uh, it should be fairly flat. Hopefully, we don't have too much uh, uh, issue with the uh, computer. Wait, where's my National Highway 1? Is it actually that one there? I think it is. Let's go a little more to the left, not the one we're on. Flight plane goes this way. But I do want to follow the National Highway 1. And I don't think it's just dirt road. Could be the one right next to us. Uh, right above my plane there. Jace Melbo is flying it. He's in a 414. Alright, okay. Actually, I think. It is actually this road here. Okay, good. Which is why I chose... Oh, we are shaking. Why are we shaking? We're going a little too fast, are we? Alright, so I want to make sure I got this plane working nicely. I don't remember where the fuel tank is. Anybody remember if there's a swap over I need to do? I guess we'll find out when we run out of fuel. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I think that's National Highway 1 underneath me now, so I will turn a few degrees. We'll get, uh... There we go. Banjo Frog right down on the road. He knows where he's going. Sean's up in the C25C. Is that the... Longitude one, and it's got a few more degrees to the right. Just using my autopilot to do it. My window open. Ah, okay, that's why it's a bit noisier. There we go. Oh, what was that? Close the cooler. Prop Feather Guard. Man, I have not flown this plane in so long, it's awesome. Alright. Now our windows are shut. Look at the red dirt out here. Alright, six more degrees to the uh, left. Mr. Schmidt, or the Esser Schmidt. Called there, Banjo Frog seems to be gaining on me. He might actually be tuned out his plane a little better. Talking about tuning it out. 
get back in and I'm just going to bring back my mixture. Although it should have been on auto in my settings. There, mixture, mixture. Is that not actually working? Oh, no. It's working, it's just not showing up. Hmm. My throttle's not worth showing up either. Huh. My prop pitch. Nothing's in inside the uh, cockpit is actually showing up as working. So I actually have these up at about 60%. Okay. No idea what's going on there. Uh, let's get the Fly Life Studio on for people who want to see where we are. Let's get that going. Probably should have put it on first, but happens. Alright, Bruden, mate, where did we say we were going? YPPD, was it? YPPD for Port Hedland to YPPH to Perth International Airport. That's pretty good. Yep, we are 3% of the way already. Alright, cool. Where's that highway? Oh, it's over there. Gowan says, I am crazy sick, won't be flying along. Oh, mate, I hope you haven't got the uh, COVID thing. Mr. Vid making a... Uh, last night you were saying um, you weren't well. I don't know why I'm still looking at that camera. Maybe I should just turn it off. Oh, oh, I didn't like that. Uh, it hesitated for a second. Whoa. Some pretty close flying. Very nice. Uh, no, this is worse than when I had COVID. Wow, okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I saw last night on, on um, Big Jackos that you said you weren't feeling well and you're out. I was like, oh, mate, not cool. Um, yep, yeah, Vuden says, get well going. You have bills to pay. Yeah, you've also got racing to join in with. Oh, yeah, I'm missing that highway a lot. I will uh, redirect my plane more to a few more degrees. Just about this weekend, uh, it's this weekend, not next. Okay, so you've got some time to recover. So Banjo Frog's right down nice and low. Uh, oh, what is our altitude? I'm uh, sitting at just under 2,000 feet. Let's reset our parametric pressure and see what that does. There we go, closer to 2,000. Uh, what am I, 246 knots? I do want to keep an eye on... Uh, basically, I don't want to blow up the, um, the engines on this. Uh, still waiting for speed and heading. Speed is uh, ground speed, 246 knots, heading uh, 241. Uh, it keeps changing because the road keeps changing, but 241 is probably your, your general direction at the moment. Actually, 241 is, well, look, uh, I'll put this on the screen. It says uh, 239 is actually to Sherlock Bay. Then we go a bit of a more of a 286, 277. And then we'll continue back down to 239. So it's a bit of a zigzag over towards the coast. Uh, what's our speed in here? What's our airspeed? Airspeed's is that 245. No, it's the same. RPM. Airspeed there's saying it's. Oh, that actually says 206. 75 probably just short yeah 275 airspeed is what I'm thinking uh, no live streams from the racetrack um, have have to have 50 subs uh, we'll get there before the end of the season right you have to have 50 subs to do a live stream oh, on your mobile does it I've never actually done that um, that's probably why I didn't know okay well, you have to have 50 subs to do a live stream. Is that right? 
iBot says, what's up, Brett? iBot, mate, we are back in Warbirds. I've got a whole bunch of them around me. Uh, you can see a Mr. Schmidt right next to me. Banjo from mate, he is, he is hauling buttocks down the, on the deck there. That is awesome. Oh, 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 oh. That was a, uh, what happened there? Get back up there. Oh, I just had a, uh, What happened? Come on, get behind Evelyn again. Oh, I just think I hit uh, a couple of frames a second. Ah, oh. because I dragged the mouse. Yeah, because I dragged the mouse, it uh, it froze for a second. All right. So these guys are following the road down low. I might actually go and join them. But we are following National Highway 1, iBot, mate. We're back in uh, WA, only not in the jet fighters this time. I oh, live from your phone, yeah. Uh, spinning the camera around is how I get crashed to desktops. Well, I think I survived uh, the crash to desktop just then. I think it tried to, um, and then luckily <laughs> it didn't work. But yeah, I tried to spin the uh, camera around uh, with the mouse. So I, I right mouse click and then drag, and yeah, it didn't like it. But we do have, uh, or did have last week, some issues when it comes to WA uh, data. Oh, I just remembered, I need to limit my data from 100% back to something a little lower. Otherwise, we could... Um, who's Banjo Frog going? Oh, he's not. It's just we weren't connected properly. I bought WA, yeah, Western Australia. Sorry, Western Australia. Yeah, this is the big lap of uh, Australia. WA is Western Australia. It's about the size of probably uh, from the border of Texas, north, right to the top the of the Canada. US, all the way yeah. over yeah. to California to Although Washington. That's how big that WA is. Good. It probably is the entire west coast of the US. Um, would, would take up the one state of Australia. Gowan, mate, that's Gowan's channel. He is the Princess of Canada. But he can't officially uh, confirm that. Well, there we go. We just got a P51 buzz bar with no name tag. How did you hide your name tag? Looks awesome, though. Sounded awesome. Got uh, Kanga there. Oh, it's Icarus. There we go. Uh, you should do laps um, of all the continents. Imagine flying uh, the northern coast of Russia. Uh, the northern coast. Sheesh. We already did <coughs> fly Russia uh, on uh, the current journey, the long road home. We flew uh, parts of Russia, Mongolia, China, and stuff. Um, just ask Banjo Frog how how it is to fly a Spitfire in Russia on the uh, north east coast. Too fast uh, for the name to keep up. Yes, he was buzzing past the name to even keep up. Egress mate, good morning, aviators. Wait, I missed that. Oh, maybe I didn't have it loud enough. got a straight road here have we or like the lap of South America that would be cool um, it's pretty big I am flying down South America at the moment I'll do that again tomorrow uh, oh Banjo Frog you and I are not getting a great ping there you all of a sudden disappear and then you're back somewhere else that might be West USA for us I think you said you used to get a worse one. All right, so we're almost at YSRK. How long are we here? 25 minutes just to get from here to the next airport. Okay. All right, just gonna hold the altitude there and 
Uh, where is the fuel gauge on these things? How do we hide this? We don't. Reserve tanks. There we go. Wow. Where's my other tanks? There's the other tanks there. Front. Okay. Do I have to swap this? Does someone let me know? Is there a switch that I need to swap between uh, fuel tanks? That's rudder trim. Oxygen valve. Or is it um, automatic? Because I actually don't know. Whoa. Lost the road. Too busy uh, mucking around with my... Ding, 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 right, there we go. Rock channel. Frog and I, uh, the last ones. All right, I'm actually last. No, Hengar, he's up there. In his TVM, I think. All right, these guys are going to the airport. By the looks of it, well, I'm going to stay on the road so they can touch down and do whatever they like. But uh, it looks like the road continues along here, so that's where I'll go. Are we landing at this airport? No, but you can do touch and goes. I found the fuel on the left side, or at least I noticed it on the left side, but I don't know whether I need to auto change or, uh, like, once my auxiliary runs out, does it automatically change to the next? I'd like to know. I guess we'll find out. Love that sound, right? Yeah, it works pretty good. I need to get one for all of my um, members. So, Sean, mate, uh, did we talk about you? I can't remember. I don't think I've got one for you yet. Um, so, let me know what it is you would like. A sound file. Ping me on Discord. We'll uh, try and put something together. And then what you can do is you put in there, you know, exclamation mark Sean. And uh, it'll play. At least that's the plan. No, you need to change. Oh, yay. Okay. Where's the fuel switch? Is it in front of the seat or something? Oh, it looks like it's down there. There we go. Tank selector. Okay, so it looks like we've got to... Hang on. Let's get uh, autopilot. Altitude, hold, direction, hold. Thank you. Turn uh, right a fraction. Okay, so. When our auxiliary runs out, we can change to. Uh, what are we on? We're on reserve. No. Right engine, cross tank feed. Wait, is that a feed? You got bad stutter. You got bad stutter there, did you? Or do I? No, mine seems to be working fine. I'm more concerned about making sure I don't run out of fuel. That's the cross feed. Is that where you've got to actually change it? I would imagine so. Where's my tank? So when these guys get to... Wow, well, that's not going to go much further, is it? Let's have a look what it says here. Yeah, so we've got 12 litres, no, we've got 26 litres left, so 12% of those two tanks. And then I guess what we do is we left tank selector, right tank selector. Fuel pump master switch, yeah, I don't know. Just keep an eye on that when it gets close to the uh, E. All right, still following the uh, highway down there. You know what, let's get some air. Getting some shutter. Oh, I'm getting a bit of shutter. Why is that? <laughs> and the uh, whole plane's going up and down. I'm not sitting straight. 
train, there we go. Is there a view for the fuel? Oh, there's a different view for you. I can read everything very well there. Both left, right, okay. Very cool, yep, cool. Alright, fixed on these are decent uh, views, aren't they? There we go, there's a fuel. I knew there'd be one. It's just master switch. Okay. I'm going to swap my fuel now. Alright, so I've gone to... I don't know what I've gone to. Outer wing might actually be a better one to do, but you'd think you go from there to the next one. 53 gallons outer wing. Uh, yeah, you're in the red line. Wait, I am too. I had that back, but, uh, okay, whoops. And I've also missed the highway turn. No, it should actually be more this way. There it is there. Okay, no, I missed it too far. Played around with my mixture as well, uh, but it's not moving. So my mixture, oh, these things are not showing up. And I'm sure I've got the latest version of this. All right, so we're out of fuel for the. Uh, the two tanks there. You can see down on my. Far left there, reserve tanks are empty. <clears throat> Whoa! Parallel Planes is here, and he looked like he was in a... I don't know, it says F-18, okay. Uh, Y-R-O-E coming up for me on my nose. Hope I don't sneeze. <laughs> uh, may have fuel. Uh... I shouldn't actually need fuel for most of the flight, so we're good. Um, but we are sticking to this highway. We've got a lot of airports we can land at. Um, I guess, where is it? Uh, I'm trying to work out which one. Carnarvon is probably where I might fill back up, just so that we can keep pushing it. Oh, my left engine is out. Why is my left engine out? Uh, what did I do there? It didn't like me playing with... Oh, yeah, my left engine is out. Is that out because they're out of fuel? Is that... Is that not my fuel tank swap? Have I got it wrong? No. Oh, did I only put fuel from one tank uh, only over? How did I do that? Right tip? Alright, I've done something wrong. And my right engine is not getting... Left tank selector, right tank selector. Fuel, yeah, yeah, okay, no, fuel works. So it didn't like me going to just the one step. Okay, so I've got both working again now. Uh, let's redo that mixture. Back it off. Wow, it's going to be a uh, challenge just to keep this thing up in the air, I think. It does shake around a bit, doesn't it? Speed is 215 knots ground speed. 
that's showing. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't press fire live on off. There we go. I should pop that up on top of the screen. Sorry about that. I uh, didn't realise it didn't go up there. There's the F-18. Sherlock Bay, we're going to Roeburn Airport and Caratha. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Caratha's right on the coastline. Andrew Frog's in there behind me. Looks like Sean Dahl's already landed. Interesting quiet music. Let's move it along. There we go. Replace Twitch. I don't know why it comes up like saying that. Also, let me know if that music's loud enough. Oh, look at how much we're rocking here. Straight through town. Not a spicy cough uh, there, is it? No. G'day, Brett. Um, no, it's it's morning sinus phlegm, whatever that is. Uh, oh, what happened to my highway here? Wow, that is um, that's a dead end, isn't it? Wait, does it go that way? Oh yeah, it goes that way. Somebody didn't take the turn. Just go back through the mountains. No, I'd say it's probably that turn there. Maybe just turn again and back up through the mountains. Um, but our next town at uh, Caratha is um, there. Yeah, see, I don't go out often enough, um, Mr. Pound, uh, to to have picked up the um, spicy pot. Um, so weird hearing you say, what's up, Brett? <laughs> there are three Bretts in stream right now. There is uh, myself, there is Mr. Brett Pound, and then there is Mr. Brett, uh, who is flying the Mr. Schmidt. There's an airport down there. Is that another airport? Oh no, that's a railway line. Right, okay. So we're following this road, I believe. It doesn't look like the right road. It's so hard to uh, keep up with. That's not it there, is it? We are supposed to go to Caratha, though. Yeah, maybe. Is Varudin going directly to Perth? Mate, it's so hard to find these roads down there sometimes. I don't know if it's this one we're under here, because it is meant to go more towards Karatha. I might have lost it when that road ended. I've never driven it myself. But we will make our way more towards Karatha. Where these guys are. Let me know if anybody wants to actually do some touch and goes. We can. We we will be running this for a fair while. It's going to be a nice long stream. Um, I am uh, going to be batching it for the rest of the week as well. Uh, you know what? It might actually be this road down there, and then it turns uh, right there and heads up into Karatha. I think it does. Right, that's why I chose to go here. All right. Because I don't see one going this way. Hey, why 
Why did you turn there? Let's go that way. Alright, want to sit on an altitude there, Mr. Autopilot Hold. Alright, welcome to the 11 people. Thank you very much for the 12 likes. That's awesome. And we are getting some sort of lag. Oh, you no, know, yes, I know. Can't tell. G'day, Brett. Yes. Uh, there was more of us the other night. Uh, Brett Donahue was on um, Ozbot Simmons' uh, flight. And um, he did a Twitch channel. I do actually follow him too. Never admit you're lost, just uh, everyone else is going the wrong way. Ah, oh, mate, I don't mind uh, admitting if I'm lost. What I've lost now is my Xbox controller. But I believe that is actually the road and it does head back up here. And then we take this turn here. We go into town or we head continue down there. We might go over more towards that airport. How beautiful is this, eh? Which tank am I actually using? Ah, okay, so left tip was not um, fueling, but my right engine actually went off on the left tip. Huh. Huh. That's weird. Alright, so we are... Uh, was it Karatha? Let's go quick information on Karatha because I'm not all that familiar with it. City of Karatha. It's in the Pilbara region. Well, we know that because that's where we're flying. Make sure we follow the National Highway turn. Oh, is that actually... That could have been the road that we were meant to go on. Never mind me. Um, established in 1968. It's not that old, is it? To accommodate the processing and exportation workforce of the Hammersley Iron Mining Company. Uh, in the 1980s, the petroleum and liquid and natural gas operations of the Northwest Shelf Venture. Well, there you go. So initially it was a mining town. Or it may still be. I don't know the detail there. Pretty cool. Alright, let's continue down following the highway. Rubbish town. It's known for rubbish, is it? Why do you say rubbish town? Or there is a town called Rubbish Town. Looks like there's a train station in there, is it? Train line comes in, probably for all the mining and stuff. Not sure if they've got shipping. Could be a dock out there. Usually would be. Okay, follow the highway back out. Still is. Uh, still is useful mining. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure if it's Karatha is where my cousin lives. He's over there um, driving trucks for the mines. Uh, I think he actually does driving trucks for deliveries to and from uh, like supplying, supply line semi-trailers. Um, so a quick look on the maps. There's our Google Maps. Iron ore, there you go. What I need is somebody who uh, has local knowledge. Karatha, near Dampier. Very cool. Not really sure if that's where my cousin is. I might have even been back at Port Hedland. I 
don't know, I have to look them up. Yeah, lots of uh, straight line train lines. It probably is, um, you know, between the different mines, uh, they just run the, the rail. Some of them um, I was watching last night, they have straight roads and they can run the um, road trains. Uh, so basically you've got, um, you know, seven to ten uh, semi-trailer attachments and they just run, run it with the one truck. Um, but because most of it <clears throat> is a straight line between the mine and the shoreline or, or wherever the processing is, uh, they can run it. Uh, ugly towns, yeah, okay. Um, and I bought the 414 is a pretty nice plane. I bought it a few weeks ago, some hiccups with things. Stop working while they change stuff, but it's a decent fly now. Cool. Uh, they are ugly towns, and the own, only getting better as they build more. Uh, as they build more, what the 414 or more towns or, or railway lines? Hang on, what are we talking about? Build more. Andrew Frog's back down on the road. Chunk's probably fueling up. Egress is probably fueling up. Uh, luckily, we got these extra drop tank things, which I think I think there's a way of getting rid of them, isn't there? Oh man, look at me shaking around. I need a yaw damper or something. Or maybe I need to stop sucking in the air through these side windows. Love it. Cooling open, is it? Hmm. Guess we should keep an eye on a lot of this stuff. Oh, you can actually get rid of the yoke. <gasps> there we go. Ooh, that does not feel safe, does it? Oh, 414. Uh, as they continue to build. Yeah, okay. Uh, Britain says, uh, I have the AP in the F35 set to 185 knots, and I'm getting constant stall warnings. <laughs> with the AP on. Yeah, you would. 130, one, 185 knots. 185 knots is landing speed, isn't it? Does it not like doing 185 knots? What am I doing? Ground speed 249. So, you might be able to get a bit more. iBot says US, uh, $40 US is a bit steep for me personally, uh, so I might wait unless it goes on sale. Um, yeah, I've kind of held off buying a few planes recently. Um, I might buy the PC-21 from in the Xbox store because it is quite cheap. Although, to be honest, I might have just missed the sale, didn't I? Uh, keep an eye on it, but it's like $15. I think it, you know, it might have even gone down less than that. It's worth $15 probably about all it's worth. 40 US dollars though. And I'm talking about 15 Australian dollars for the other one, 9.99 or whatever. Um, US at 40 dollars is uh, going to be their discount price until the final release. They might need to wait. Yeah. I need to work out what planes I really want. Um, I, I like the World War II planes um, and the military fighters. I do know that there is a M346 Leonardo in development at the moment. Um, I, I know I haven't seen it on uh, Oz Flight Simmons news channel, which is where I get all my premium news. Um, but uh, I do get a lot of uh, messages and emails and stuff uh, coming through saying what else is available. Maybe I should do a, uh, this is what military planes are in development coming up. Um, I may also take, uh, reconvert my, or not reconvert, reintroduce my converted or imported uh, C-47 Skytrain uh, and take that for a run. Uh, I do miss it. It's the one that I used to have as my um, background uh, for my channel. 
it's awesome. There is going to be a new DC-3. I don't know if it's the same development uh, continued of that uh, C-47. Maybe I could do a once a month, this is what's coming out, or I don't think it's a once a week thing. New Moraine uh, is an expensive dog. Right, is it? Uh, I thought the F-35 was supposed to change shape so uh, you can fly 185. It's meant to have auto flaps. Um, you won't do, in vertical flight, you won't do 185. Um, but once below 200, you can change to vertical lift, but you won't do 185. You might do 65, though. Um, choosing plane is hard. It could be addictive and expensive if you don't pick and choose. What is, uh, what is this you're flying, by the way? This is the P-38. So this is a flying iron... Wait, is this flying iron, isn't it? I think it's a flying iron P-38. Um, I have a lot of... Oh, we need to... Uh, change? I not want to turn. Oh, I had you on heading. There we go. Okay, cool. Um, I'll make sure I follow that highway. I have a lot of planes that I've purchased. This is probably the most I've spent on any flight sim um, and or game for add-on mods. And I spent a lot on Forza Horizon over the years, buying all the VIP and, and stuff like that. Um, I don't know if I can get down a little lower. No, that doesn't seem to want to descend. All right. Ooh, this is the chase music. Uh, I'm following this road down here. Uh, I think that's the correct one. Yeah. Down below. Um, Sean Dale says, so 146 with the price released uh, close to 50 pounds or $65. I know it's going to be a study sim. Uh, it's just too much right now for me. Yeah, me, me too. Um, I've always said uh, the sim add-on is worth it uh, than save up um, for some well over the, the, the money. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the P38L, Brett. Uh, whatever the flying iron version. Yeah, this is the L. I think I've got a J as well, but I think that's the um, FSX converted one. Oh, wait, did I not even have autopilot on? No, I didn't. All right. I'm only having autopilot on so I can uh, read your comments and, and fly a level. All right. Let's go autopilot on. Let's go heading. Let's go altitude hold. We're good there. We might want to get in and just have a look at where our fuel... I'm... Missing... Let's get you out of the way for a second. Where's the fuel tanks that I'm using here, their gauge? Uh, so these tanks, and they're the rear tanks, are they? So wait, I've used up all my front. I think I'm on wingtip. I just have to keep an eye on that. Um, my pound says tar. Yep. Uh, that's what he's flying. Yep. Okay. Uh, Rune says, Brett, uh, I wanted to ask you a question. Why would you fly a converted F-18 when there is one in MSFS? I do have one. It's the Super Warrior. The Super Warrior has been converted to... Um, allow you to press a button to drop down the hook and land and take off um, so it basically it works with the I think the free carrier mod um, and allows you to prepare and do a, a proper launch it basically is the same plane but it's um, oh, not an imported I won't use the FSX imported uh, F-18s anymore that, that's it um, 
those days are gone. They're not even in my library anymore. Um, I am just following this road down here to cross the river. So I'll go down and have a look. Um, but the, the Super Warrior mod, which is a modified version of that uh, Sobo one, um, that's actually pretty cool. Uh, I have that as well. Um, AP in the F35 doesn't work in VTOL mode. Oh, doesn't it? Uh, how slow I can fly in an airplane mode. Okay. I've not done the AP in... Do you know what? I've not actually done the AP in the F-35B. Um, I've flown AP in the um, A model, and I'd like to say I got pretty good with it. I can't imagine it's going to be that much different than the B model, but I've never tried the vertical. Um, but I did fly the vertical the other night, and is really nice, but I, I flew none of it in with autopilot. Um, there are some uh, default planes, cars, trucks, uh, but the add-ons seem to be a bit more involved and feel better than default. Not the FSX ones, but yeah, other ones that you would buy. I'm not going to buy another F-18. Oh, oh Brett, you're losing uh, the right engine again. Why? Oh, because we ran out of fuel on that side. Yes, we did. Let's try not to crash, shall we? <laughs> Read the comments, Brett. I'll crash your plane. Um, man, swapping all these fuel things sometimes is annoying. Um, but yeah, you, I know you're going to do them in your plane, so why not? Uh, um, iBot says, also waiting for all the high quality freeware to eventually come out. Um, I think there's going to be less and less. I've noticed since the last update, when people are putting out uh, I'm sure people have already commented this um, since, and I'll get to your comments. I'm just trying not to crash here um, and run out of fuel, but I might just hold it there. Hang on, what are you doing? That'll do. There. Thank you. Um, There's less freeware stuff coming out, I think, because people are thinking they can make money on their, their cheap, crappy things. Um, look at Captain Sim's external-only model. That's that's just like, we need money now, um, grab, uh, and that's laziness. Um, yeah. That's probably enough said with that one. I did think about getting it just just to put in like a 747 copy or something. Uh, Assuming because it, uh, it was because the text of the plane model uh, was missing the same way. Hang on. Um, uh, Sean, oh, in the F-18 he was in yesterday wasn't FSX conversion. Uh, wait, who was in? Me? F-18? No. Uh, yesterday I jumped between... F-18, so I went to stock one. I just uh, went in default. But I was using dev mode, so I changed stuff um, to jump into the default uh, F-18. And then I went to the F-35 through dev mode rather than having to load back in. So it probably came up with something completely different. I initially was in a M346 Leonardo, which is an FSX conversion that I uh, re modified to um, work if that's what you're referring to which I think you are okay cool we are following the right way um, so yeah I've had to fiddle around with some of those but yesterday's flight with uh, 
with you guys and um, uh, just some no, no who was it it was um, Big Jacko's Gaming yeah I just swapped between in dev mode I, I changed a few planes uh, just for muck around um, I've gone back and I've missed a whole bunch of comments so just there was a text for the plane model was missing the sim um, if you're swapping and stuff, yeah, it just didn't come up. Um, no, because I was in the M346, you won't get it, uh, unless it's written in the, the text, that's right. Um, but then when I changed to F18, uh, because I did it in dev mode, you still get the old name, but you can see the new model. You just, the old name is still there, so if it had a name on it, like P38, and I changed to F18, it still says I'm in a P38, but it'll show up in F18, and I would perform like an F18. Um, need to employ a, a reader, Mr. Plays. Yeah, I know, I'm so far behind. But I was running out of fuel. What I need is a plane that doesn't run out of fuel. Hey, no, 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 no. I want that, that direction, thank you. Chunk, chunks on my six. Got a Misha Schmidt on my six. Um, yes, I need a reader. Sorry, uh, must have got the wrong conversation. I thought we were general, but why? Uh, when you can uh, have three the same version. Sorry, yeah, yeah. Um, so all good, Sean, I guess. Uh, it never occurred to me that it might be an F-18 from the Shady Dealers and no label. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, it has VIN number removed. Um, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. You don't get 600 planes off uh, the open market. No. 600. Uh, I've got 250 in... Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm over 600, but yeah. Um, oh, I see, that's why I didn't say, yep, that's exactly what I was referring to and wanted to ask you about. Yep, no, that's cool. I, I got it, I caught up. I refuse to chase your Icarus, <laughs> you troll. Why, what did Icarus do? Yeah, I probably do need a reader, Sean, mate. Um, We might get to a stage where I will have members in um, Discord with me talking and can help me read. Look at the shadow down there with a Mr. Schmidt on my tail. to the left like I'm asking you to there we go uh, no worries mate thought you would like some <laughs> alright I can see the main tanks are now on their way down how far away are we we just gone past YCSD which was I don't know Presser Station 1, uh, there's a name for you, Nantara Airport, oops I'm missing the turn here, let's just move a few degrees to the right, um, lucky at Microsoft Fly Sim it doesn't have guns, it does, I have a H145 that can shoot guns and the uh, Corsair can shoot guns. banging noises outside. My wife's preparing to go out for the week. Uh, VR flying soon, then when you have members uh, reading for you. Yes, Sean, mate, um, I've also worked out I can buy a program now um, that's using Steam, so I can use my HTC uh, VR, and I can just put a, a web page of what you guys are chatting down somewhere. 
but I'll, I'll have the same. I might end up um, jumping in with uh, members chat on some of these flights, especially long ones like this. I don't mind if you guys want to chat with me. We used to do it all the time, uh, and I would end up with 20 people, including uh, the young ones who talk in really high pitch, um, getting all excited about whatever it is that they're getting excited about for that time, but not necessarily talking about what we're doing, which uh, can be a bit of an issue um, when you're trying to keep everybody focused. Uh, squeakers, if you don't know what I'm talking about. Um, if I feel better, I would give you uh, some company, Icarus. Uh, Xbox users pay more for planes than most PC users. Uh, yes, but they get less options. Um, so you, you may pay more for the ones you do get, but you get less of them. Um, I, I've, I've bought so many planes, it's ridiculous. If I did not have this channel and you, your guys support, especially for my members, uh, thank you very much members, you guys are awesome. Uh, but even before the membership, uh, I was buying planes and um, flying them. And even when I got to my 1,000 subscribers, I gave away a, a free payware plane as part of the... Uh, oh, my autopilot was off. Okay. Well, we were flying quite level for an autopilot off. I'm going to turn the other way, pilot. Follow Banjo Frog, that's the way. Uh, yeah, so some of them have guns. Uh, the H-145 H um, helicopter has rockets as well. And you do have impacts on the ground. Um, maybe I should take that out for a stream flight. Um, I've done it on Discord with some other people while we were flying around and shooting rockets at people. And it makes an explosion and puts smoke down on the ground. It's pretty cool. Uh, the Corsair does shoot its guns, but you you don't see any trace of fire. It just goes and uh, gets stuff coming out. Speaking of spending up on planes, anyone got the Fly and Iron Spitfire? Yes, I do. Uh, did actually make a video on that too, when they upgraded it to this smoke effects and how to turn it off so you can actually turn damage model off on that plane. Uh, so that you can absolutely ring the little taillights out of it. It's pretty cool. How do I get to my external tanks, I wonder? Alright, now you got a nice long road here. Now we need to turn. Alright, I'm just going to go and have a look at my fuel. So, it may have actually been this next one. How do how do I actually get the oh drop emergency off drop tanks on? Right, so if I go down to the bottom, does that mean I use start using my drop tanks? Huh. Well we'll give that a try. Did I miss the road? I did, didn't I? It's over there, yep. Yeah, I will be doing some VR. I'm looking forward to VR and this. This is awesome. So, um, I'll go through a list of... Uh, expensive for you. No, it is expensive. Getting planes is expensive when you start buying lots. Although, I have seen the Flying Frogs got some new videos out. Um, but I'll give you an idea of what I do have. Let me just check. Wait, it's in my community fold, isn't it? Ozflight Simmer just sent you in a small donation via PayPal. Keep up the great work, Brett. Oh, mate. Thank you. Thank you very much. I will uh, go and check it out. I do plan on probably spending more on planes. Um, and welcome to the stream, Ozflight Simmer.
Alright, um... Oops, no, that's not going to do it. Do that. No, I'm not going to be able to look at all the ones. Okay, so I'll go off memory of what I've got. Uh, so obviously P38 um, Corsair. I was quite similar. I won that on his stream. Um, it was either buy the P38 or the Corsair. I didn't want to buy both in one go because I was like, you know, you, you buy two of these and it, it costs a lot, especially in one um, in one go. Let's see. Oh, that's where I was typing before. Let's see if it's Oz or Oz Flight Simna. Uh, I'll put an exclamation mark Oz. It might actually be. Uh, well, Oz Flight Simna. Uh, also, I missed some comments there, didn't I? Um, okay, cool. We'll go back to find your uh, Spitfire vid and see what I think of it. Um, yeah, so I gave it a bit of a, uh, a plug because they updated it and it had smoke effects. And there were different buttons and stuff that you can do. So if you overdo it, you get smoke effects. Look, things have come along uh, a lot more since then, and things like the Corsair have come out. Um, and it's got some awesome uh, physics and stuff. No, that didn't get Oz Flight Sims. Only difference between men and boys is the price of their Sims are toys. Oh, I've got some expensive toys. Um, yeah. Alright, so what else have I got? I've got the, uh, alright, so I've got the Spitfire Mark, ooh, is it Mark 9 is the Flying Iron? There's a Mark 4, I think. I don't have that one. Um, but I do have the P40 from Big Radials. Uh, that's pretty cool as well. Um, what else have we got? We've got, uh, besides freeware stuff, I'm talking about payware. But the F-16, I very much like that. I do recommend that. F-35 is a absolutely yes, I recommend. F-15 is not as good as the F-15 I would like it to be. Um, but it has had some updates. Uh, I've also got the F-14 from DC Designs and also the Concorde. Um, I've got a few other planes that I've purchased, uh, GA stuff, um, and because somebody's donated me some money um, to actually get certain stuff. Speedy is great. Yeah, the Flying Iron stuff is, is awesome. Um, this, this is Flying Iron. Uh, and yeah, they're, they're really awesome. Look at this mountain range we're flying next to, or a hill range, it's not even a mountain. Look at that. There we go, got a few other people. I'm liking this area. Wait, I'm gonna miss the road, aren't I? No, I'm not. I'll be right. Um, love the AP and the F-35, but it tends to lose a lot of altitude when it turns at low speed. Haven't done the low speed stuff, but a uh, uh, higher speed, when I'm sitting at about 500 knots, um, locked in speed, it goes really wide. It, it will not turn very sharp. That might be true to life though. Uh, we'll recover the altitude, but uh, don't tell it to turn 90 degrees at 1,000 feet. <laughs> Corsair is a sweetie. Corsair is awesome. Thank you very much, Oliver and Flight Simmer, for that. And you know what? You just got to watch Oz Flight Simmer's uh, channel in order to get into some of those competitions that he runs. And I think was it just Flight or Orbix? Orbix might have been the one that gave that away. I can't remember. No, it might have been just Flight. Um, I'll find out what your quality is there, Oz Flight Simmer. A lot of the people we got with us now uh, do watch his channel as well. I do like to fly with him, and he'll be flying tonight too, by the way. Mark 1A, that's it, from Airplane Airs. Um, Heaven has uh, Spitfire. That's the one I don't have, not not the uh, Mark 4. Mark 1A. I think I've got a Mark 4 FSX uh, 
conversion, but I don't fly most of the FSX conversion stuff now if it is uh, now in the sim na um, natally. Ethan, mate, Ethan, there we go. There's a man, the legend, the man who's been flying real planes probably more than he's been doing his sim. Oh, wait, no, he's been doing exams. How's that going? Hey! Doozy Sammy, if I got your name, uh, Dowsy, Dowsy, welcome, new subscriber, hello and welcome. I love that lightsaber sound. Alright, my box control working, yeah it is. Banjo Frog's off to my right. Rudin and Icarus are playing around somewhere back there with autopilot. Alright, for those who do watch my channel a fair bit and want to know how to get some of these FSX planes in, uh, I will be doing a stream probably this week. Uh, I say probably because I'm going to be doing some excavator work uh, on Tuesday. It was put off from last week because the property owners that I've um, got work for ended up getting uh, COVID and uh, decided we'll give them a seven day um, extension and then we'll go and do it. But I may end up going back on Wednesday, but if not, uh, pending weather and or jobs or whatever, um, I may just shove a stream out there and we'll do uh, on, on live stream chat in Discord how to get these things done for people. Um, There's that frog again. I'm just waiting for the, uh, the Jacko's game one when he rocks up. Gotta wait for him to wake up. He was up late last night flying. Chunk, mate. Did I miss it? I'm off to bed. Have a great flight and I'll catch you all next time. Thank you very much, Chunk, for... Uh, joining in, I know it's late there in uh, the UK, so appreciate it. This new daylight saving has actually made it worse for the people in the UK. There's Icarus, he's P51. He's P51. It's very colourful, whatever it is. Kind of a red, white, and blue delivery on that one. Oh, now we got our graceful music, okay. Maybe I'll uh, turn this off for a second. I think I'll land at Carnarvon. <clears throat> Excuse me while I clean my throat. 
Uh, we'll, we'll probably land at Carnarvon. No, but we will probably have to land at Carnarvon. Watching my fuel, even though it said it could do all the way. We are now down to... What's that? Not quite 50 on, on main tank. Main tanks will be the, the largest as well. Nan Utara. Oh yeah, that's probably a better way of saying it. Oz flights in this link company. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. No, that's fine for. Fails, go and do a uh, manual location. There we go. Go check out Ozflight Simmer if you are not already aware of him. Got some great content. He'll be flying, well, I guess he's flying tonight. I don't actually know. Um, but he's got some great uh, update videos. Another one out last night, I think it was. Or was it yesterday. Guru says, no worries to Vruden. <laughs> I myself is in auto troll mode. Right. Is that music? Is it loud enough? Hopefully you guys can hear it. Imagine driving your, your uh, car and caravan down here, or you got your Forby. What your, uh, we've got here caravan. is failure to communicate. And you get one of these things flying over you. Everyone is at 500 feet. How am I to know when everyone starts descending? <laughs> 500, mate. I'm about 200 at the moment. Um, no, no. We will descend in another probably 20 minutes, give or take. It's going to be a while. Hi, Chris. Everything is... Everything is content. Wait, what? Hey, Chris. Everything is okay, yeah. Yes, I will be streaming tonight, he says. Okay, cool. Uh, where are you going tonight? And you know what? Oh, I was going to say, I'm, I'm up for it. I will watch it on the laptop in the lounge room while I am watching LEGO Masters. Sorry, uh, Ozflight Sim, I won't be coming joining you for the flight until LEGO Masters is over. Although, hang on, where are you? You've been doing your streams a little earlier, about 7.30, yeah. No, I'll, I'll wait till, um, I'll wait till LEGO Masters is over and then I'll crank up the PC and join probably the return flight. Um, but I'll be there in chat. Uh, the last few flights that I've been doing, because of, uh, LEGO Masters, I'm, I'm a big fan of LEGO Masters, by the way, uh, as you probably would know by me saying that. Um, <clears throat> and everybody else would know, I do have LEGO stuff on my channel and I'm definitely into it. Um, ooh, Foothills of Alaska. Yep, we'll be recording Lego Masters myself. Uh, yeah, I, I watch it with... Okay, when my wife's at home, and she's actually packing right now to go away for a whole week of uh, hiking. She's got school holidays at the moment. She works in schools. Um, so I normally have a Bluetooth headset in my left ear, and she's in the right. Uh, so she doesn't know I've got it on. I've got the mobile phone on, and um, or laptop on a side table, and I'm watching your stream and chatting and, and watching the TV at the same time. So multitasking. Um, yes, some men can multitask. Um, and in my relationship, I'm the one who multitasks, and my wife doesn't. Uh, but yeah. Um, but then I'll, I'll get the return flight unless you're still doing the single one flight 
and shorter streams because I know you did that the other day because uh, you're still getting a bit of a uh, kick from the leftover from uh, having got unwell recently. Um, JF Turbo. What's the JF Turbo? Oh, the uh, Warrior 2 Turbo then? Just like Warrior 2 Turbo? Foothills of Alaska. Very nice. Might last. I don't remember that. I think I downloaded this music for truck driver. It works here. At 150 knots, it says. All right. Is my favourite. I doubt I'll be up for a long GA flight. Yeah, I know that uh, when you when you end up with um, the vid, you can uh, kick you around for weeks later. Um, Um, so yeah, hopefully you'll be alright. One hour, uh, one flight, uh, but should stream for about four hours. Alright, I can join in there. Cool. Last week, 2.49. So is there only four of us? We didn't lose iBot, mate. Uh, Rune says okay, so I can keep up in the helicopter. I'm kind of missing the H135. Haven't been flying it since I got the F-35. There goes my wife. Good luck. Yeah, it seems uh, to lose energy at night. I, I seem to lose energy at night, yeah. When your body's like, I just need to recover more. <clears throat> Getting better each day, good. Loving this plane. How did I end up last? Yep. Banjo frogs are uh, kicking it. How's we our fuel? We could probably push this a bit further. Still two four nine. Is that what I said up there? How many percent are we? Twenty-three percent of the flight. Wow, quarter. Yeah, I knew this was going to be a long flight. I don't want it being five hours though. YBDX is what we're uh, coming over. What did we say YBDX was? Barradale. Barradale Airport. Okay. I'm following you. Yeah, no, I realise you're following me now. Some fairly straight roads here. It wouldn't be the town. It's not really a town, is it? One or two buildings. Um, probably a pub or two. There's not much there, uh, but I'd only be there because the river's there. <clears throat> Sean says, okay, gents, must go currently 133 and hope to be up for seven. All right, mate. Um, now might be a good time to go. Take care, everyone. Hope to see you all in Alaska. Yes, mate, I will. Thank you. Uh, are we stopping here for fuel? Barradale, no, not a Barradale station. That's oh, a station, okay. 
Um, I kind of wanted to make my way down to, what did I say it was? Karatha? Carnarvon. I want to get down to Carnarvon. So, uh, once we get, it's probably going to be a long flight from uh, YP, sorry, YWPL. Winning pool North Airport. And your F-35, you might actually need fuel. Um, come to think of it. Uh, I used it last week and we ended up having to uh, top it up um, three or four times. Look at these ridges. Just like lumps in, in the uh, flat area. It's those type of things that you've got to uh, travel uh, on the Simpson Desert in your four drive and you've got to climb over them. And each one of them is like a dust uh, hill. I wonder if I'd have got water in it. I would have had water in it. That's cool. Carnarvon, yes, Carnarvon. Oh, listen to that music go for it, eh? The road looks a little greener here. I don't know if that's on purpose, but uh, the satellite might have just picked it up differently. Well, you're just going to land there. That's straight enough. Actually, that might be one of those stretches that they use for airports. What do you reckon? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it definitely looked like I uh, wasn't going to get um, Jet A in field. In that field, yeah, no jet. Oh, I get uh, jet fuel. I fly unlimited fuel. I'm not flying unlimited fuel myself, and come to think of it, I do need to check that. Oh my god. Okay, we we are down fairly low. So what I'm going to do is try these. That's a drop tank, isn't it? Yep. Go down. Down. Thank you. I'm going to try my drop tanks. Drop tank on. Alright, cool. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm leaving just those few litres. Let's have a look and see what we've got. We may not make it to Canada. So we, we've left five liters in the right auxiliary no five percent ten liters 36 and 31 you can see how quickly i changed it to which one had actually uh, come over so we've got six twelve hundred liters of fuel in the external tanks um Carnarvon, definitely if not if you can just pop open a window and fill it up, uh, that's the point. Oh yes, uh, you've got an external fuel on me. Uh, not so much. Oh, look at the uh, marks on that. Suitable for aromatic fuel. And date, I don't know what the date is. Well, the date's the 24th, but yeah. All right, still following that big lap road. National Highway 1. I wonder if the drop tanks... Hey, Steve Rings is here. G'day, Steve. I wonder if the drop tanks... Uh, wait, hang on, he goes behind me. How did that happen? Um, you were asking for it. Remember, this is a live stream. Uh, yeah, it's a live stream. I'm going to run out of fuel, aren't I? When it says emergency off for drop tanks, I'm like, yeah, I want to use the drop tanks for fuel. Ah, we'll give it a try. All right, so we're just passing, or just about to pass. Uh, what is it? Y and W. You know, can't read it. PL, I think. Y W P L. 
Winning Pool North Airport. Okay, and then it's 214 kilometers to Carnarvon. We can do that. We can do it. A plane is an old POS. I re recommend that you don't test it. I'm testing it. I am giving it a what for. So this is a four hour stream this one. All right, new heading. What did we say the new heading was? We didn't. It's not 239, it'll be uh, 203. There you go, Fruden, 203. We'll follow the highway. All right, where's my compass? There it is. Where am I? 203. this plane it really is a very nice plane I'm, I'm, I'm glad I got it Evelyn this is Evelyn hello Evelyn Evelyn is downbeat look at that that's beautiful it would be nice if those uh, cannons were released uh, go pop 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 um, Steve is in the P-38 as well, mate, welcome, I'm sitting at 800 feet, let me just press my barometric pressure, no, it's still 800 feet, doing very good, I wonder if I can get up, oh there we go, I'll go up to 1000, yeah there we go, so my autopilot controls that I've set up do actually allow me to change the altitude too, isn't it nice? Beautiful plane. Benny Big Buck says, Morning Brett. Feel like I have stepped into Bryce's L nightclub at 10.30. <laughs> is it because of my music? Wait, I've lost the highway. Did I miss a turn? Oh no, there it is there. Yeah, I've got my music running and we're probably using very similar music, so yes. 10.30 in the morning, is it 10? Oh, it's 10.42 already. Haven't downloaded any extra liveries for this. I don't think. Uh, they've already got 10 liveries or, or the likes. I almost took the um, orange one, but then I was worried you wouldn't see me because uh, it's almost the same colour as the dirt. Um, it's, it's basically, yeah, what, the colour that's under Banjo Frog up there, there's a livery that the whole plane is that colour. And I almost chose that one just because it was different. Uh, probably not a good idea. over the road so we've got at least three p38s now and one f35 escort uh, it's not an Australian f35 but that's okay because we don't actually have the B models uh, we have the A model which is what I flew last week on our flight uh, from Darwin to Port Edmonds and that was actually still a fairly long flight, but that's only because I think we had to stop often. Uh, hooning around means that we ran out of fuel too often. <clears throat> Seems to be a straight line there. I wonder if there's a rail line or a pipeline or something that runs, or, or power lines, that runs straight across the road there and continues. You can see it on the... Uh, or well, maybe it's a fence line. But it was running with the road. 
we're not uh, we're not doing that one. So I'll go back to the thousand feet. Yep. Yeah. Right, he's up there. Brood and Icarus are up nice and high. There we go. All right, uh, Ozflight Simon says, got to run, Brett. Have a great rest of your stream. Ozflight Simon, mate, thank you for dropping by. And thank you very much for your donation. I will go and check it out after the stream. Uh, appreciate that. If you did it direct to my um, PayPal, that's even better because you know how that works. Um, but it doesn't come up on my uh, stream thing, so. No, 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 no rail or pipe. So it must be a fence line. Somebody's uh, property line. This is another nice oh, road below. Fifty knots. It's going to make for a long flight, isn't it? I wonder if I've bitten off more than I can chew. Nah. I got nothing else going on today. So if you guys want to come and join me for the whole flight or part of the flight or whatever you want to do, no problem. Look at that. That looks like a US Marines F-35. A lot of nothing here. There is a lot of nothing here. I'll give you guys a bit of a show of where we're up to. So let me put my um, map back on. So VFR, we're heading to Carnarvon on the coastline. Uh, yeah, there is, look, you put on ISO line and there's still a lot of nothing there. I might just shortcut this. It looks like it comes back over to here anyway. So I'll make a beeline straight across. Uh, then there's actually the coastline down to, can't remember those places, I'll have a look. Geraldton. So we'll be heading down to Overlander Airport, and then Geraldton, Geraldton, and then it's down to Perth, which is another 369 kilometres. I wonder if we can push this any faster without being redlined. Probably not. We are right short of the red line. There we go. Um, coast is mostly cliffs. Oh, that would actually look better though. So I don't mind that. I don't mind it at all. Uh, unlock. Oh, no, I don't unlock the canopy. I know what happens when you unlock the canopy. It drops off. Now, so I. Where's my fuel gauge for the drop tanks, I wonder? I don't think I have one. Hmm. There'd be no way of telling how much. I guess when it runs out, you quickly swap it over. <laughs> Is that how you do it? Almost looks like an airport there. Dirt one. In, uh, pretty small planes there. No, actually, maybe even a gun range. That open, uh, open area there. Now we are following this road up here loosely. We're going back up with it. I've uh, let it uh, fly almost straight there. How's Mr. Steve Rings going with uh, his P38? He's not too far behind. Oh my, I'm right on a thousand feet. At least now, Bruden, you can see when I descend. So I'll go from a thousand feet now. <laughs> but we are making our way to YCAR. If anybody wants to come and join us, you can. We will stop off for a quick. Uh, drink break for those who want a cup of coffee or a cold drink or a cup of tea. Uh, grab yourself a beer, go and have a smoke, whatever you need to. 
I'm gonna fuel up so I will run up to a Bowser somewhere. I bought your Twitch says titles Ecuador to Peru just to let you know it does that sometimes let me see if I can fix that uh, it sometimes it seems to get the last stream that I did so let me fix it now yeah it's got a long road home all right and it actually has the right information but it doesn't have the right title all right how's that now and thank you very much for watching on twitch i do need a few more twitch watches eventually so that i can uh get affiliated there although the plan is eventually to run maybe three gameplay streams on twitch which i will record and then put onto youtube later Highway goes into Carnarvon. Yeah, good. That's that highway there. After having flown this, I do not think I will be driving it. Big lap. <clears throat> nah, I'm, I'm too old now for the big lap. It seems to be something that people do in their 30s and 40s. Uh, either couples or couples with kids. You basically need uh, about 50 grand to travel and around the big lap in, in, uh, in about six months, uh, sometimes more depending on how long you stay at different places. But um, just, just traveling around the big lap, uh, so the National Highway 1, is expect you know, I expect anywhere between thirty and, and fifty thousand dollars. The way the fuel prices are at the moment, could it be even more? Um, but it is a long, long journey. I think we looked it up uh, another time. Hey, G five. Whoa, hang on. What's happening to my YouTube? We're getting a few hiccups. No. Yeah. Uh, G. 05 m 3 t 9 x thank you very much for following why didn't that make a sound oh because my sound alert uh, failing on twitch okay, i'm gonna fix that up so yeah the idea will be to put uh, say three twitch streams up a week where i'll do some other gameplay that's not usually the flight sim and then i'll continue the flight sim streams on um youtube Goss. Oh, wait, what? Ah, oh, Goss. Yeah, that makes sense. What is the rest, though? Goss Met, is it? Oh, that was a nine. How about I call you Goss? That'll do. Uh, wait, do I lose the road? No, there it is there. Oh, let's have a have a look at how much we got left in those drop tanks. Since I don't know where the fuel tank is. There. Oh, look, 75%. Oh, those things are good. Maybe we should start with those. Oh. Rudin's landing, I think, or he bounced, or he's, he went down really low. I don't know what happened there. I think he was checking out the uh, um, Goss metrics. Oh, of course. The nine, it makes it hard to work out that's an R, uh, but Goss metrics, mate, welcome. Welcome to a Brett Plays. Oh, I got my gentle music playing at the moment, haven't I? far cry from the uh, heavy metal we had earlier. Do you know what? I'm going to take this manually. Let's get down. I don't know where that F-35 went. There somewhere. Oh, there he is. 
Look at that. Is that a pub by the water? I reckon it is. It's got to be. What else would you have out here? Oh, maybe a hotel. I think the Icarus is down that coastline. There we go. Now we've got something a bit faster. Servo. Ah, oh, yeah. That's probably a good idea to have. Bet the fuel cost of absolute fortune there. Hey, why do you want to turn that way? Let's get you straight. Look how flat it is out here. Holy moly, there is flatness for a long way. So, where are these cliffs? There's another main road for you. Oh, it goes out to the uh, coastline. Right. Uh, yes, some food. Oh, ah, yeah. That'll be for a long drive. Have you driven up here, uh, Mr. Banjo Frog? Like, have you done this journey? It is expensive, yeah. Well, they'd have to get it shipped up there as well. No, there'd be fuel tankers going up there. Tasmania has pretty expensive fuel too. Uh, you've got to think about it. Pretty much all that has to be uh, shipped in many times. Okay. So flat though. Although, wait till we start going across the Nullarbor. Although, with the Nullarbor, once we get right close to the, um, uh, the cliffs, I may actually fly down next to the cliff a few times, just because you can. Oh, we're losing the rope. Same person, okay. Oh, I forgot to jumble my music, didn't I? Ah, oh, well, going through a playlist. Thank you very much for the 16 likes. We've lost a few people because uh, Europe's gone to sleep now. Uh, I kind of. I bought, mate, are you still watching on Twitch? Or did you just go and check it out? Because uh, I can't. I don't. I do have, what is it, one viewer? Hang on, what does it say? We've got nine. Five. Can't tell. I think my numbers uh, show up wrong. Flung Frog says, on the way to Coral Bay and Exmouth. Uh, good coastal holiday places. Exmouth's right next to where, no, further up now, isn't it? You turn off back that way. Yeah. Maybe that's where my cousin is. And maybe he went there on holidays as well. He lives out here somewhere as well. I'll have to look him up. I have to get back onto Facebook to look him up where he's moved to. Yeah, it says there's nine people, but my concurrent viewers are six, so I don't know what. I don't know whether to believe the YouTube statistics that I've got or not. Since I'm getting a little bit of a... 
for internet. Are we having issues? Is anybody else getting some... Uh... Oh, no, it says it's healthy. Um, are we getting that same issue we had last week? Where we fly for a while and then the uh, memory leak from the, uh, the flight sim affects the stream. Says ascending. We, we're getting plenty of data in, but I don't know what data we're getting because other than satellite pictures, there's not much here, is there? YouTube uh, ended then. I had to refresh it. Yeah, mine stopped. I don't know what happened there. Are we still going? Oh, we are still going. Yeah, I don't know what YouTube's doing. You might have needed to uh, refresh it. And Banjo Frogs, uh, just pause waiting for me. Back now for sure? Yep, okay, cool, thanks. Um, I don't know. I think YouTube had a... Uh, had a little bit of a hissy fit with me clicking on uh, come check it out. When we land at uh, Carnarvon, I might actually change my data uh, to limit how much Microsoft flights I'm getting. Oh, from up here you can actually see waves of the ground. You can see where it's darker, lighter, darker, lighter. I think that's actually, we're not flat here anymore. Some ripples in the uh, in the ground, which is actually pretty interesting, considering um, considering land is probably squished uh, in the forming of the uh, the plates here. That just gives a little bit of a ripple. It's a solid. It's almost like water ripple. Britain says, okay, I'm falling out, a good flight. All right, mate, thank you very much for coming and joining. I will land at um, Carnarvon and uh, we will have a break there. Wow, it does not look like there's much here at all. This is a big lot of next to nothing. Big lot of next to nothing. Why don't we lose those tanks once they go empty? They used to. I think. Or maybe that's the uh, Corsair does that. Maybe it's the Corsair that does that. Okay, so my Twitch has come up. Yeah, it's working. I don't know, let's give a thumbs up and see how quickly that comes through. Because uh, so I've got it muted so I can't tell. Yeah, there we go. Well, that's actually not too, too far behind. Uh, it's a big lot of nothing. This is a huge amount of nothing. Alright. Uh, I did notice, um, even though I clicked auto start on YouTube and put um, low latency, YouTube took an extra 30 seconds or more to uh, to start it. I, and I still had to press um, why are you not turning I, hang on, let's turn on heading, there we go, that's why I still had to press uh, go on YouTube so YouTube's still got some uh, Work to do on their streaming, I believe. 
although um, I watch a lot of YouTube streaming and I watch a lot of uh, actually a lot less but I've started watching a lot more Twitch streaming too just to uh, see some different things oh there's some epic music Highway's just off my left wing there, right underneath Banjo Frog. He could still bring his P51 around. He seems to be coming in pretty good. I think he might have been slowing there. If he wasn't slowing, it was uh, having trouble keeping up with him. Right now, this should take us right into Carnarvon. As in, this is the right direction, but I still don't see anything. So much for fuel all the way, maybe not when we're uh, following the highway. But even then, I think I would. I, I put in fuel where it said I could get all the way to Perth. Maybe if I'd climbed the altitude, but then trimmed it back and didn't push it very fast and took it as easy as possible, it might have been able to glide into uh, Perth. But uh, yeah, no, I think we'll be filling up here. So we'll take a few minute break when we land, get ourselves the fuel first, and then we'll uh, get ready to continue my journey. It's going to be a long flight, this one. to the Murchison region, is that what it's called? All right, cool, I missed that sign. Is that back there, was it? Must have been one of the signs on the side of the road there somewhere. <laughs> Pretty close to the coastline now, but you couldn't, you couldn't really tell other than what you see on the map. Gasoin region. Right, okay. I wonder why they turn the road there and then back again. What was there that they had to go around? The water source. Normally when these roads are initially made, they're horse trails and or slash with carts. Um, lots of floodways here, all right. Um, oh, the satellite didn't get patched together properly. The road looks like a jagged there. So they do the same here. need to do is I'm going to climb and look for the uh, airport. Icarus crashed to desktop. Going to end here. Thanks Brett mate. Night all. See you Icarus. Shame about the crash to desktop. Um, this region does seem to give us those type of things. 
Um, but great to have you along, mate. Uh, P51 was awesome um, seeing it fly in the past and hearing that engine. I don't know if I had it all that loud, but uh, thanks, mate. Right now we can see the first line. Where are we? 1500 feet. 1600 feet. Yeah, so that's two hours in. We're probably about halfway, are we? 37%. Yikes. This might be a long flight. Or we might end up having to uh, stop off at Gerald and maybe call it there. I don't know. We'll, we'll work it out. Now, airport, I think, is off to our right in town, isn't it? But I think we need to cross over the river here first and then head in towards town. If the road looks like it turns to the right, yeah. Oh, this actually looks like a nice area. Look at that, eh? Kind of farm and stuff. Very nice. Let's follow. Banjo Frog. Steve, mate, we're going to land here. Uh, obviously, I'm guessing you're watching the stream as well. Oh, look, he's already lining it up. He's way ahead of me. I can't even see the runway. Um, <clears throat> we'll do a loop around and then work out where to land. if we need to follow this road back out and then it turns off to the right there or it continues down through here and then down the coastline hmm might have to look at the uh, google maps and work that out oh there's a the runway right there Do you know what I actually was looking at the map and thinking it was further around near the water there, but nope. This is coming in pretty fast. Let's see if we can slow this bird down. Yep. That slowed it. another runway there. That's what I was looking at. Okay. I thought there was. I should have probably looked it up. Mate, are you going to leave your car sitting there? That is the wrong place to sit, mate. How about I give you a quick scare? I see a fuel bowser over the back there. Look at all the GBs. Holy schmoly, somebody's got a GB fest here. I guess they go up and down the river, do they? We're going to have enough room for three P-38s and a fire truck to get in here. I will put it here and uh, we'll run a pipe over. Alright, awesome landing. Thank you very much. Uh, I actually enjoyed that. Uh, what we'll do is I'm going to 
you know what? I'll, I'll turn the engines off, but I'm going to fuel this for 100%. And then we will, you know, I'll do 100% because then I can burn as much as I like. Um, and I'll have a quick intermission break, so I will be right back, guys. Give it about uh, two or three minutes. All right, Mr. Flying Frog, I see your message there. Have a good one, mate. All right, let's get a drink already. So we will lose one of the P-38s. Look at all the GB. Uh, GB3, is it? Oh, you got to get in before the rain tomorrow. Yeah, I probably need to get a bit of wood in myself under cover. What is with all these Reaper? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I've got thirteen GB race planes here. Oh my god. Catch you tomorrow. All right. Yes, we'll do our uh, long road home flight. I'll get that up uh, later. Okay, so... Is my fuel still on the drop tanks? It is. Alright. Can we have the right engine up as well, please? Thank you. Park brake won't release. Why would my park brake not release? Where's the park brake in this? You know, let's get these windows open while we're on the ground. Because we can. No, not the camera. That, thank you. Alright. <laughs> Put Steve's 
up as well. He's an itsy bitsy. Okay. Um, somehow I put my park brake on. Oh, my wheels turn. How did I lock my front wheel in? There we go. Alright. Wow. You really just gotta push it hard to get that out. Okay. Oh, because I was turning really sharp when I came in and I pressed stop. Well, that's not cool. Alright, let's get going. In. We come in that one. So we want to, yeah, actually. Um, I reckon I can take off straight down here. What do you reckon? What was that uh, canopy up? I can't. Steve, mate, I'm already in the air. Sorry if you um, weren't ready for me to do that. Uh, now, I do need to find the main road out of town. Is that it there? I don't think so. So what I'll do is I'll do a bit of a loop that'll help Steve catch up. I've lost most people. <coughs> well, this is it here, is it? Yep, that'll be... National Highway 1, it's heading the right direction. Okay, cool. Actually, I realise I don't have my camera on. Get out of here, buddy. Alright. 1600 feet. Keep the I haven't seen these things going up and down. I might just have to check and make sure there wasn't another update uh, since the last time I uh, did mine. Oh, we can have these up now. I can't see Steve out there behind me. I think he is more. Oh, he might still be getting a cup of coffee or thought that the uh, break would go longer, but I'm sure he'll catch up. All right. Since I got a nice long flight, um, I'm going to keep going, guys. So. Oh, are we getting something happening on YouTube? It still shows me on the ground. So I'm not keeping up. Let me just check and see if Twitch is running. Uh, Twitch is running. I am still climbing. Awesome, listen to that music go. Ah, oh, you don't need my ugly mug while that's on. Let's just have some nice uh, ambient music going.
Well, that was nice music. <clears throat> Very fitting. Look at the coastline there. Look how blue that water is. Very nice. Welcome to the one viewer who stayed around after my cup of coffee. I think everybody else went. Maybe two hours is all they can handle. But for those who are watching this, both on replay and uh, currently with me, welcome. It might even be Steve the only one around. Everybody else had to jump off and uh, do whatever they do today. I'm wondering about tomorrow's stream though. Tomorrow is Anzac Day. Might be a good idea not to do <laughs> <Bring it. laughs> it. Laugh out loud, it's me. Yeah, that means even Steve's not watching. But I don't believe those numbers. The numbers keep going and getting wrong. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, but tomorrow's Anzac Day. And I don't really want to fly at 11 o'clock on Anzac. Oh no, it's 11 o'clock on the 11th, isn't it? But you don't you want to have that one minute flies. Hmm. I guess it would be not dawn. It's a 9 a.m. flight, not, uh, not later. I'm planning on my coffee roasting for to, uh, later today. So I have this on the side. All right, I don't mind being a side to a, a coffee roasting um, planning works quite well. Anzac uh, is morning service, so yeah, flight. Yeah, yeah, I just thinking that. Um, Anzac will be like 6 a.m. I'm not getting up at 6 a.m. Uh, or even 5, that's dawn service. I'll, I'll be flying at 9 to probably 11, 30, midday, the latest. Today might actually pass midday, so we are at uh, 11.27. Yeah, we, we, we definitely pass it midday. Let's see if I can push this a little faster. There's more of that uh, music. Get past the red line, can't I? Yeah, see, my other red lines are 200, so what if I just go full? There we go. says I'm doing 249 knots ground speed. I don't believe that. I think my Fly Live studio thing has the speed has failed. Hmm. What's my speed? It's now 300 knots. No, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to refresh that. So give me a second. Let's close that. To reopen it and do it again because sometimes it loses sync with your flight sim. Let's get that all over there. 5 a.m. is dawn service here uh, near Lismore. Okay, 5 a.m. Yep. And marches from nine. You probably won't drop in that many viewers. That marches on every. That's like ABC usually, isn't it? Every every year. Uh, just make sure to fly. Error realistic plane. Now I'm flying the um, King Air uh, flight still um, in South America, so I'm not doing a like World War II type thing. Um, I'm flying uh, flying back to Australia via the Long Road home. There we go. So that should have just updated to. 280 knot speed. I think that's what it says. 3,300 feet, heading 157. We are 42% into our flight. Um, reason I've done uh, gone faster is because we backed off, um, worried that I was over the red line. This is this red line down here. But I'm looking at that. That's my manifold pressure. I think. I'm, I'm thinking that might be the red line there as well. Even though there's a red line here, I don't know whether that's meant to be what you keep it in, but we'll keep an eye on it. RPM red line is there. If 
I were to drop my prop pitch a fraction, we can actually get under that. But I don't, I don't remember if this one's got full damage model um, override. So you can try and turn your things off so you don't get damage model. The only thing I've got is uh, crash detection is off, so that if I crash into the ground, it doesn't go black screen and, you, and you're out. Do it again. So Steve, mate, he's pulling me back again. Um, my brake was short, my flight is long, and I'm going to keep going. I do love the model of this plane, though. It is awesome. Talking about models of plane, I think I've only got one of these. Um, let me go and see if I can go grab it off the shelf behind me. Once I get this lined up. Okay, well, it turns out I have no P-38 models on my shelf. I really thought I did. Um, the only uh, rear twin tail thing I've got is a uh, vampire. Um, my chair's dropping down. Let's see if I can fix that. But, uh, gas shocks. Doesn't like me uh, getting off and sitting back down. It wants to give away. Um, I've got heaps of uh, Corsairs. About four of them, three in 172 scale, different uh, liveries, a bunch of Mustangs, Spitfires, Hurricanes, you name it. But uh, no Lightnings, I really thought I did. His hand keeps moving. What is he doing? Is he adjusting the trim or something? One hand on the throttle and then back up to the back up to everything. I don't know what he's doing. Let's not look too closely at him. <laughs> Alright, what are we at? 30. 300, I might just go to 35. We are at 280 knots, so we are going faster. Um, Steve, mate, if you need me to slow down for a bit, let me know, but I am actually cranked now to, yeah, I'm at, I'm at 100%. I have trimmed back my prop pitch and mixer just a fraction. Um, I'm also on the external tanks, I've got to remember that. No, I'm not. Did we reset? We did too. Okay, we really need to watch that. So that's this fuel gauge here. Uh, I think I would rather be on the... Oh, you missed it. rather be on the... Um, it. Drop tanks. Oh, you know what? I keep forgetting. We have a tablet that we can use here. All right. What does this give us? Engine start, after start, running checkup, takeoff, approach, miscellaneous. Oh, look at this. So this one we can actually do. Huh. 
design crew speed 275 mile an hour or 239 knots which is a just I say cruise speed is that that uh, that red mark there that's your cruise speed uh, in manifold pressure because when we were doing that we were sitting pretty much at 240 uh, so 239 knots uh, this is actually good stuff to have oh live data uh, indicated 3500 let's go barometric pressure no it didn't change um, heading weather oh we get wind direction oh I like this where's fuel tanks there we go fuel tanks drop tanks have so much more range gallons per hour cool hey, I like this stats altitude oh yeah there's that extra couple hundred feet we went up g-forces rpms oh I like this this is a good plane um, so we increased our speed there Let's see where we went up I think no manifold pressure we increased it to 60 yeah we did load out Ooh, there we go. That's a good one to actually check where your fuel is. I'll keep that one in mind. So, a reserve. Why do we start off in reserve? We'd think we would save that for last. Okay. Um, I have to remember. Oh, oxygen. So, if we get up to a certain height, do we use oxygen? I don't think that actually is a thing, is it? If it is, that's awesome. Alright, I do have autopilot on. I thought I had. Oh no, I've got altitude hold. Uh, I've got all of these things set on my um, uh, flight thing. Oh, hang on. Is the road underneath me? I don't see it. I was too busy looking at that and I missed the road to turn off. Yes, I did. It's over there. Turn. So what do we just turn that to? 176. Let's try 180. Oh, I like this. Flying with a tablet. I mean, it's not it's not realistic, but um, <clears throat> you know, put it away when you're done. You can. Copy configuration is GPS. Wait, there's a GPS. <gasps> no way. That is awesome. The gun sight. Yep, I knew that one, but we were actually not running that. Use a default pilot. Oh, hang on, can we change? That's much better. Now we've got the right gear and he's got his hands on the controls. Right. <clears throat> so, is there a button here that you pressed? No, okay. Turn off aileron booster valve when using hydraulic hand pump and making single engine landing. Oh, single engine landing. So we could have our GPS on, or we could have it off. I think we'll have it off. I like this. Tablet thing is pretty cool. Dynamic engine stresses. Ooh. Shut down or temporary fire. Oh, you can turn that on. So it must be off. Yes. Now that's the option the Corsair needs. Turn it on or off as you wish. Maybe I, there is that actually or that option, and I haven't gone in and read it. Where's that road? Are we over there yet? Uh, stats? No. Load out autopilot. Autopilot. And if we press that button, to, oh, it goes and hides it. I'm liking this plane more and more. Cool. I was doing everything else. Uh, myself now road I think is that one over my wing there it's coming back okay good take a few more degrees it runs right down the coastline the flight plane itself though runs right down over the water if we go from one airport to the next I 
like that pilot. Steve, mate, if you're watching this and you don't already know these things in the plane, I hope I've taught you something. If you did know these things, why didn't you remind me? <laughs> that would have helped. Uh, excuse me while I blow my nose. This is our uh, radio, so that's that's a modern thing. Flying Iron Sims, they've actually got their name on it. Awesome. Alright, transponder. Oh, I can't turn it on. This one is broken. Alright, won't, won't go on. Oh well. But I'm not using my, um, not using my controls like that. To so turn and keep straight with the highway. Don't see any traffic from here. Oh, we got our smooth music now. Sit back, relax, up late with the bread please. <laughs> uh, maybe not. Welcome to those who are viewing. I know people come and go. Uh, we've had at least, what is it, 93 people come and go. That happens. We are flying the National Highway 1. Now, I lost a couple of people uh, before Carnarvon, or back at Carnarvon, about a short of halfway. Uh, people had to go and do whatever they've got to do on a Sunday. Me, I'm enjoying my flying time. And now that I've got my World War II style pilot, I am very happy with that. I wonder if you turn him on each time, or with these stays that way. Closer look at this thing. Look at the detail on this. Four uh, machine guns up the front and one cannon, I think it is, from memory. Downbeat. Two at the front. Okay. What else have we got here? Guns charged from ground only. To remove the nose wheel, pull down lever until wheel clear down. Bloxy says, "Hey, I'm back. Welcome, Bloxy, mate. Have you... Did I see you as Bloxy before? Did you change your name? U.S. Army P-38L." 10 LO Air Force serial number. There you go. Crew weight is 200 pounds. <laughs> no, no comment. Um, service the airplane with 100 to 130 octane fuel only. Suitable for aromatics. Cool. What does it say here? 
important for maneuverability front edge of a fillet must be tightly on Makata filler strip okay this is actually pretty cool this is the P38 Loxy mate this is absolutely awesome plane this is a flying iron it's been out for a while I haven't uh, done too much with it but I figured you know what we'll do it on this run because it is a nice plane there's the uh, elevator pulleys Caution, disconnect electronic wires before removing tail. Don't you love it how it's got all this extra stuff? We've got a baggage compartment. We can carry baggage. Do we have another one on the other side? No. Okay, baggage is only on one side. We got a little pod thing there though. What's that pod? Air, air take stuff. Oh, have another one on that side? We do too. I didn't even notice it. Um, pretty good detail on it, yeah. Uh, are you, wait, are you, are you what? Look at the river detail on this. Right, if you're looking for a plane to buy, in flight sim and you're into propeller planes yes i recommend this one there is a whole heap more detail than what i'm doing i'm flying this on easy mode essentially oh hang on are you excited for the 737 800 pm dg no no i'm not um, yes, I did watch some of the stuff on it. Um, I'm going to hold off on buying it. There will be a heap of people who will be flying it. I would prefer something like this. I'm into GA and World War II stuff uh, and military planes. You know, um, I'm more likely to buy a fighter plane than I am the 737. Um, I will give it a go, depending on whether it comes out on sale or I, I see a need to go and get something. But I'm, I'm not much of a study level commercial flight person. So I really think it would be wasted on me. Um, or I'm going to have to go and learn how to fly properly. Maybe when I get my, um, my yoke and my uh, little LCD screens, I don't think you can see that over my shoulder, uh, and the pedals and stuff all set up, then I'll give it a go. I love the Saab 340. I had to uh, convert it from FSX to, yeah. Did you put in a different cockpit, such as um, CRJ, often people put in, because that would mean you'd use press buttons and stuff, but if you're just looking for the external model, uh, yeah, great. Look at this, this is beautiful. Oh my god, could this finally be a flight that tops the Oregon flight? That one was over three hours long. Mate, I've done a five hour one. I wonder what the longest stream Brett Hayes has actually done so far. No, CRJ-1000 pop. Oh, you swap the CRJ-1000. Okay. Goss says it's an awesome plane. Goss metrics. Mate, it is... This one? This one is awesome. I am so enjoying it. And then there goes my Xbox controller. And you love it. Gives up. Uh, now that I... Is that my default view? No, there we go. Ooh, don't, don't unlock the canopy. I'll let you in a secret. If you haven't already known, if you unlock the canopy and you lift it up in flight, it breaks off. You do not get it back. You can't just go close again. It's, it's gone. Off it goes. Off the back. And then you fly around with topless, basically, until you respawn a plane. So you actually have to exit back to the main menu and come back in. So it goes. 
Also, uh, I bought the 747-200 for FSX and converted it to MSFS. How would you go with the uh, LCD screens on that? Because you bought the 747-200. Did a lot of that stuff come over? Uh, or a lot of the other stuff come over? Because otherwise you've got to put in the... 747, was it 8 um, cockpit, and that's a little bit more uh, updated. Oh, it did, okay. The 747 200 is a lot of gauges. Oh, right, yes, because it's a 200, so it's early. Oh, good. So they did come over. Oh, well, that'd be pretty good. Um, I haven't done that, but I've Someone asked me to, I don't remember who, asked me to try and get the 747 Mega Pack working. I downloaded it but haven't actually gone ahead and done it. Let's see if I can fold it here. Downloads. 747 XXX Mega Pack. I got volume 8. Someone was asking me back in March. Oh, I've got to install it because it's a Raku website one, isn't it? So it's an EXE, yeah. Um, to see if I could get any of those converted. I mean, I previously did some of the 747s. Uh, I don't remember what I did on my channel, though. What a... I might have to look that up. I did a 747. Maybe I did the 400. Let's have a look. 747... Oh, Dreamlifter, uh, yeah, 400. I did a 400. I don't remember how well that went. Um, showcase 109, that's back in December 2020. Oh, hey, I'm gonna miss this road here. Go for a 25 degree turn, shall we? Where's Steve? I see Steve out the back there. Still here, Steve, mate? Or did I lose you? Can't wait for making Pan Am 747 flights on my YouTube channel. Yes! Go for it, Steve, mate. Did I, oh, did it just me? Or did we just lose connection with everybody? Oh, that suck. I don't even know if I was still uh, flying with me. going to do though is no that's not it there we go let's get this uh, show the tablet hang on how do you get look down there we go um, drop tanks 103 gallons I'm guessing that is uh, drop change will, will decrease max continuous speed by about 25 mile per hour uh, selecting any loadout um, will also top up your oxygen supply right so oh we can press drop so when we're finished with these let's drop them and go faster <laughs> love that um, Is there a fix to hilariously long loading screens? A friend of mine has loading times up of 15 minutes even with a reinstall. It's funny but it, I feel bad for him. How many mods has he got in though? And what mods are he is he actually using? Because I do find sometimes it runs better without them. Uh, coming from somebody who has hundreds and hundreds of mods. Um, Yes, I do find they work better without them. Uh, Alright, just gonna put that away. Um, uh, are you excited for MD80? Again, it's kind of um, a commercial plane. So, less excited. Uh, I'm more excited for 
some of the military planes that are coming out. Um, I'm looking forward to, probably that's a better way of putting it, looking forward to the M346 Leonardo, the Italian uh, fighter that someone's working on, uh, which is what I was saying earlier in the stream. I was flying the converted version of that last, um, last night. Uh, that's cool, yep. And an AN225, yeah. Um, is there going to be an official one coming of that out? Only thing uh, he has uh, an airport and the and the DC F15. Hang on. Only thing he has? Who's he? He who? You, I bought. The only thing you've got is the F15 and an airport. All the rest of your um, free stuff. So no, not so much the. Uh, yeah. Wait, a Sobo are bringing out a 225. Oh, that'd be nice. Um, the only commercial plane... Oh, no, I was going to say, the only commercial plane I bought is the... Uh, 737 MAX 8, but no, it's not. I actually bought the CRJ um, 700 and 900 as well. Um, you are Sorbo um, making one for an A225, AN225. That'd be nice. Uh, hopefully that's going to be like a uh, memorial free download for everybody. My Xbox controller has stopped working. Right. Is this the road that I'm following? Yes, it is. What is this? Some other crossing road. So, when did they announce that they're doing a 225? I haven't seen that in the news. Or is that just uh, something that they've been talking about doing? Or did they put that in the um, announcement? Uh, in the... Uh, what are those uh, conference things? Those online things that they do? Oh, here's my Italian music. Or Greek music. Got to go. Alright, Bloxy, mate. Thanks for dropping by. Thank you for the information about the uh, MD80 and AN225. I'm going to have to look that up. Looks like I'm the only one in the sky now. I guess Steve had to go. Or I lost him because of uh, lack of connection. I'm doing 280. 300 airspeed. Standard airspeed, I reckon that would have been faster on the ground, but okay. <coughs> oh, you can just press the seat. There we go. Keep an eye on that. I'm going to drop those tanks. Stats. Altitude speed. 300. See that? That's IAS. Mine says 266. Hmm. Oh, Pilot Stud talked about it. I watch Pilot Stud occasionally. Thank you. I wonder if I should do some news stuff. I don't think I'll do general aviation news necessarily. Mostly probably military stuff. Just saying what's coming out. I might end up doing that. I think that would be a good idea. Indicated, true speed 323, ground speed 326. Flight sim says 280, I think that's locked in at 280. Hang on, I think the road just turned. Cheeky road.
right back over the road. It's a couple more degrees over to the uh, right, thank you. So, <clears throat> seems to be some sort of property there that, uh, I don't know what they're doing. Growing something. Could be uh, digging it out. The uh, National Highway there is, well, and you know what, there's a whole bunch of trees here we didn't have before, so that's good. The closer we get to Perth, the more information we'll get. Geraldine's coming up, and where are we? Almost three hours into the stream. I think I'm going to be a long stream. I'm going to go all the way to Perth. Still got to get it back across to uh, Melbourne, and then I probably will actually go back down to Tasmania and continue that flight. But I might take a slower plane back down through Tasmania. Back down National Highway 1 and finish back in Hobart where we started. Maybe even the helicopter. Oh, there's an idea. So then I can stop anywhere I like. Might even do it as a tour. Stop in here for some uh, decent coffee. Chocolate coated raspberries, yeah, man, I can do the raspberry farm, chocolate places, cheese places. I don't know if there's any wineries, but there are some great bakeries. Yes, let's do it. Yeah, it might be a couple of months before we get there, though. Once a week. Thank you very much for the 20 likes, for the people who have actually gone and pressed like. I know we're only a little crowd now. Timing's probably not always the best during these late at night. Actually got some windy road for change. Look at these, they've been doing some uh, farming. You can see where they've uh, run around on the ground there. That's awesome. Seventy-one. Wow, those drop tanks are awesome. But we will drop them because they're drop tanks. We will drop them when it comes time uh, to run out of them, and then we'll go and um, probably use some of our other tanks. Crop circles. Well, some are harvest circles. <laughs> Someone doesn't know how to do a circle, that's what I reckon. It's nice to have a different environment now. There's two bridges, is that an old road and a new road? Probably. It's good to actually have more than just the red earth little to no trees. I've also turned off my tree mod, I think. I undid all my mods. The only thing, only livery I've got on as well is um, my livery for tomorrow's flight, the uh, long round home livery. Let's have a look at our the places we're going. So we're almost to Geraldton. Geraldton is actually the next flight. So it's 266 kilometres from Waikad and we're almost there and then it's another 369 into Perth International which is our final destination for today. Running live time. What time did we say it is now? 10:05 a.m. Uh, I've got 12:05, so there's a two-hour difference. Cool. I lost Steve. I don't know where Steve went. But I might have just. 
just lost him on Connection. Oh! I whacked the uh, controller there. Now this looks more like uh, farming land, doesn't it? I used to have those drop tanks first used up, I reckon. And I'll uh, we'll get to that stage soon enough. I want to get back over that road there. It's been an adventurous uh, whoop, um, flight on this uh, big lap. We did a lot of really low flying up through uh, New South Wales and, oh, actually Victoria, New South Wales and Queensland. Admittedly, though, getting across to uh, Northern Territory and into Darwin, we kind of took the high road, 25,000 feet, and just looked at it from way above, a lot of the dirt. And then from Northern Territory down to probably about 20 minutes ago, it was pretty much flat desert stuff with very little turns. Although last flight in the F-35 going at 500 knots was nice through the mountains. That was pretty cool. Oh, there's just a little kick, kick up. Um, but I'm liking this type of environment. And we're getting back towards civilization. So we've got our farms here. Got the trees on either side of the road, a few bridges, something more to uh, fly over, a few farm buildings. This is awesome. Definitely going to have to put that VR on. At the moment, I've got a kink in the neck. Oh, I think that's from looking over you guys. Uh, you guys chat. I know cameras there. Chat's over there. I've got to remember that. Back to civilization. Just wait till we get into Perth. Then we'll have civilization. And then pretty much shortly after on the next flight, which I haven't yet worked out where I'm gonna go. Um, I don't think I'm gonna go all the way to Adelaide. That's a very long flight. I think we'll be doing a few other flights. Maybe we'll get to the edge of the Nullarbor and then we'll fly the Nullarbor to maybe Adelaide or something, I don't know. Depending on what plane we use as well. Or helicopters, it's probably a plane. How cool would it be to see a P-38 fly over here though? You're driving down on those roads. I know last week I said if you <laughs> if you were driving the road and a bunch of F-35s at 500 feet flew over, you'd, you'd really freak out. It'd, it'd give you a huge shock, I reckon. Change of underwear type material. 
But uh, P38 would just be cool. Those twin engines going across. Civilization. I guess that's the main road out of town there, isn't it? That's not even uh, built. Reminds me of these short rolling hills here. Reminds me of New South Wales, um, Hume Highway, uh, a little bit south of uh, Canberra, Been around Yass area. Although the hills are not quite as big here. It's nice to have something different to fly over. Almost looks like we've got some uh, hills ahead. Maybe we might be a far map or two. Not too far out. The Wagga area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where the Wagga turn off is. I don't remember necessarily the road into Wagga. Um, Wagga Wagga to it too well. I haven't done that one too many times, but I have done the Hume Highway. Uh, I don't know how many times. At least 30. 30 times over... It used to be once or twice a year um, from Sydney to Melbourne. Um, my mum lived in Melbourne and, and I lived in Sydney and I would go down once or twice uh, a year in the car or motorbike. I've flown gliders, yes, for real, okay, uh, from Tecumwall uh, and Leeton and Tamora and all those flatland areas like this, yeah, okay. So where are those areas? They're not in WA, they're in uh, New South Wales, are they? Did we say you were from New South Wales? Steve, but he might have had to drop off there. Actually, I don't see anybody else around. I wonder if uh, West USA is just suffering a bit of a ping issue. Or maybe I'm just the only one. Uh, 
Hello, how are you going? We're actually on the wrong angle now. Didn't stop me the last time though. Um, very green there. I'd say that's a different satellite. You can see it here. Different time of the year. Picture came over. But hey, nice to see that they actually do get green. I wonder if those hills just capture a bit of the uh, coastal air coming in. Shooter is further west than uh, top, but yeah, cool. Uh, I'm betting there's a straight line coming up as the satellite image has changed. Yeah, 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 you were right. I read your comment too late, sorry. You can see it right there. One side to the other side. It happens. It happens. Uh, the airport's going to be slightly to the left, I think. So I'm following in this main road. But there's a roundabout getting built there, on the Bing Maps. I use that, uh, going back to, I don't know, the last point. Uh, is this your regular slot Sundays? Yes, mate, it is. Uh, though I have skipped one or two recently. Um, I think I'm following the right road now. It's tricky when it uh, deviates in and out like that. The National Highway one may have actually split and gone up that road there. Um, although it might have been a railway line. I'd say it's probably still here. Uh, yeah, Sundays and Mondays at this time. Um, I had been doing uh, daily videos, but it is Easter holidays at the moment. Um, school holidays, Easter, and my wife wanted time to spend with me this week because she's going away next week. Well, she left about an hour ago. Yeah, about an hour ago um, for a, an adventure um, hike. So, yeah, I... Except Tuesday this week and maybe Wednesday, I might actually be um, working on an excavator, so actually doing some, some work. Other than that, I would normally um, uh, stream something. Uh, and I've got some Lego gaming videos that are coming out. One came out last night. Got another one that's just processing right now once it gets rid of uh, Disney copyrighted music, which um, is an issue when you play those games. I'm just going to do a touch and go here. Uh, looks like we're coming down with a bit of a tailwind, that's not optimal. We're just going to do a quick touch and go. Then we're going to have a look at our drop tanks and then we'll leave a present for someone. There we go, that's the slightest touch, isn't it? All right. Love the P38 Super Stream Gaming Wombat, mate. Come and join me if you're not already gamed out. Come join me. I'm at Geraldton. I'm just going to Perth now. So I'm following the National Highway 1. Oh, they look like barracks down there almost. Um, and this is the last part of my flight. So I've just got to get back on track. But if you want to put in uh, exclamation mark, I think it's Gammy, uh, your channel should actually pop up. Um, awesome, I'm an Aussie too, so looking forward to flying with you soon. All right, cool. Yeah, nine o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I'm in Tasmania myself, but um, nine o'clock. Lucky it's a long run runway, touching that down there. No, no, not touching down. Touch and go. Strictly a touch and go. I think this is the road we want out, isn't it? Yeah. Cool. There we go. Found it again. What I'll do is, where are we? 1500 feet. Oh, there is a little bit of hiccup in there. Alright, let's get you uh, level, straight, take it from uh, my controls, thank you. 
There we go. Cool. Um, <clears throat> I wish I, I wish I'm just waiting for my son's footy match to start. So watching. Her. Oh right, mate. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you can't really do that. Man. Man, I wish I knew these. Let me try it. It might be the whole thing. Alright, let's get uh, a direction hold on. Um, oh, and we need to work out whether we... Hang on. Let's get there, there, and... I'll take that pad back, thank you. We are at... 14 gallons remaining and then I think we'll drop them I'll keep an eye on that because uh, it was a touch and go and then a drop uh, then we need to remember to um, swap the tanks first then drop them <laughs> don't want to drop them and have nothing left alright let's find this road see it right there Where do you go? I go on the main highway. Oh. Well, where did this road go? I said the railway line. Hang on. There's the road there. Oh, we could have stayed where we were. Oh, look at that plane though. How nice is that? Hey, there's Steve. Mate, were you there the whole time? Oh, we've got some wind farms coming up. Uh, which one do we go for National Highway 1? It looks like this way. Is that right? Oh, man, now I wish I had a uh, map. Yeah, it probably is, because we're going to avoid the coastline. Because that, that actually heads out more towards the coast. Okay. Oh, even my stream is uh, struggling there. Let's refresh. Is Twitch doing alright? Yeah, Twitch is doing alright. Okay. It's just my YouTube that's having a problem. Alright. I want to fly down next to these. I imagine having one that you go all the way under. So you drive this road. Oh, you can see where there's one there on the uh, map. Yeah. You drive the road. And you're, you're going right under one of these. That's awesome. Steve's still there. Am I heading the right way? I think I am. Should head further south. Yeah. There we go. I'm always worried that I'll miss the turn off because I can't see the signs. There it is, turns right there and heads further south. Okay, good. Alright, hold it there, cool. Jimmy Wombat didn't come up, why? through the uh, ooh, road looks very dirty yes. I guess that's the right road I was looking at uh, instructions yeah, yeah. Ah, that's it Go see some other awesome content with somebody. It's another Australian. He's flying around um, Australia on different planes at different times as well. Um, 
I've enjoyed watching his streams. He also does some uh, farming uh, sim and what, oh wait, I've got to sign back in here. Always making me sign in. Don't sign me out. Oh, hang on. Yep. I can't get to the other one. All right. Now, did that hit main? No. Outer wing. Okay, good. Oi, oi, oi. I heard my engines start to struggle there. Alright, let's drop these tanks before I go and find out. Uh, no, I might just put there. And then I'll get Gammy Wombat thing up on the channel. Um, yeah, so uh, Mr. Gammy Wombat also does some other gameplay. So occasionally you can hear, sorry, watch him um, play some, uh, I think he's been doing a terraforming one, which uh, looks pretty interesting. And some in industry uh, was it called industrialization or something like that? Um, I need to go to this. Oh, stop. Stop moving on. Alright. He was live this morning, but I didn't get to see his full uh, video uh, stream as I started myself. Um, but here we go, let's pop you in. Go check out Gemi Wombat's channel and I will work out why it's not coming up with the instructions. Uh, cloud box doing it. Or maybe you need a capital. Should have actually come up when I did it. Yep, gave me one back. All lowercase. Oh well, it didn't. So it has that same link. Yeah, all right. I, I don't know. It didn't come up, but um, go check them out. All right, so let's get in here. We've got these drop tanks. I want to drop them. So can I press drop? Drop? No, you can't. Oh, could you only do it when when it was? Oh, it's just cold drop, not... Okay. It's cold drop, you can't actually drop it. But you can probably set up... No. No. Alright. Hello, am I missing the road? I am, aren't I? It's winding away from me. Tell me Steve's actually on and I've missed it. I've been so busy trying to pop my, uh, drop my tanks that I'm actually hitting the wrong road. Steve, mate, is, is that what I've done? Let's climb and have a look. I think I did. I think I ended up on a dirt road. Surely it's not a dirt road. I think Steve's got the road over here. Wait, is this it here? Hard to find the road when you keep looking at your uh, plane controls. I don't know if that's it there or not. Hang on, I need to get a Google Maps going. Brett doesn't even know where he's going. Geraldton. No, it follows. Oh, down to Janine Bay. Yeah, okay, it does, there is a road that's going along the coast. We do bring one inside. Okay, no, I actually was on the right. 
I was on the right road, the coast one. I don't think it goes in that far, does it? The coast one is um, Highway 60. Uh, but if I want National Highway 1, I'm going to get back over. So Highway 60 runs down the coast. Highway 1 runs inland more around about here. Surely that's not there, yeah, that looks a dirt road. Although it's a straight road down there. I think that's a dirt road. I don't think I've stayed on the... I think I've missed the turn off. Too busy. It could be over there. What do you got, Steve, mate? Are we are we far enough that the road goes inland here, or did I not go far enough south? And Arrowsmith is where I'm meant to turn. And where's Geraldine? Geraldine to Arrowsmith. Oh, I think I was trying to follow Highway 116. Okay, we might be just a little too soon. Yeah, actually, I'm looking at the map. I think Steve's still over the highway and I've gone and turned a fraction too soon. Arrowsmith. That's where we need to turn. Uh, where can I find some cool free stuff? On the internet? Probably. On Gumtree, look for free stuff. Um, Facebook Marketplace, look for free stuff. If you're talking about free mods and or planes, um, I've got a whole bunch of freeware reviews uh, that you can go and check out. And I've got links in the descriptions for them. Wow, I really did turn way too soon. I've got to chase uh, Steve Ring back there. Wait, hang on. No, that's not in there, is it? The right direction. No, that's a that's not the road. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've got heaps of freeware plane reviews, and you can see whether you want that um, in your sim as well. Wait, oh, I kept me on the uh, turn. All right, so is that water hole there, Arrowsmith? Almost. Arrowsmith was right on the coast. I should have been going down the coast. So the road that I want is on the east side of that dam there. Damn. I think, I think Steve's onto it. Should be along here somewhere. Wait, there's this road that I'm in. So hard when you're in the air to follow National Highway 1. That ain't any of it. Let's do it. Hey, we've got a uh, A320 flying past. It's probably going to Darwin. That's awesome. Well, don't don't crash now. All right, there we go.
So he's following it, is he? Is that National Highway? Yeah, there it is. That looks the right direction. If Brett doesn't know, look for somebody else who does. Steve seems to have got it. Oh, there's that water hole ahead there that I said I needed to be on the east side of it. Okay, so this one behind me, underneath me there, that's not the right one. Okay, cool. much easier if I was down the road and we had road signs. Anyone that says National Highway 1, that'd be cool. You know what, maybe I should dive in on Steve. nice okay now we got traffic coming back and forth that's better all right I went way wide I was trying to follow the map but I yeah I, I kind of turned it way too soon got 93 gallons and we've got some reserve as backup all right I reckon we're going to use the full extent of the fuel here let's get him a little closer to Steve since I've been in front of you the whole time it kind of I did use up a bit of extra fuel going wide but um, you've caught up Fly some formation. 200 feet off the ground. dropping these tanks. Maybe it is only the course that you can drop the tanks. Now that's getting low.
hope you're enjoying this my viewers if you are and you haven't already liked feel free to like tell other people to come and check it out we're doing some low flying there's only a couple of us at the moment i don't know i lost steve before on view but we seem to have uh, got him back now obviously he's in the same plane there's no way i can catch up but we don't want to go too close because uh disappears. It actually got to zero. That was that was just in time. All right, I'm on my mains, 93 gallons, and I've got a reserve of 20 gallons oh, and 19. Okay. Twitch is working fine, but YouTube seems to uh, continually pause on my replay. I don't think it's stopping for you guys though, is it? So very uh, much like burnt grass on either side of the road. I wonder if they've done some sort of treatment especially for that. It certainly makes the road uh, stand out, doesn't it? Going to uh, stick down low the whole way. I'm, I'm thinking we, we're going to be cutting the fine of the fuel. Uh, where are we? 83% distance. Uh, so 17% of 1600 kilometres, whatever the math is there. Although it's going to, we're probably going to do more than 2,000 kilometres, maybe because I keep going off the path. But um, turning, we're not doing a straight run, so 
Yeah, it's, it's actually, we're, we're all over the shop. Uh, it's at 3,000 feet. Is that updating? Ooh, there's a pause. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, didn't like me uh, changing the altitude. Pretty easy to follow the road when it's got a dark line around there either side of it. Where's Stevie Boy? There he is. He's doing a shortcut across there. So still uh, checking me out. Um, three hours forty-three. I bought, mate. If you're still watching, three hours forty-three. Pippin the Red is in a TBM, five thousand feet ahead. I reckon that's probably not too far away from Perth International. Probably going to be a few people over this way. ground speed updated. Uh, I don't know about fly live working 100% because it doesn't seem to go up and down depending on my speed. Altitude seems to work fine. does even tell you what I'm doing. Yeah, 3,000 feet and my um, heading but my speed seems to be out. to me.
stayed level, stayed at 3,000 feet, stayed following the main road. I love it when you can actually go off to the bathroom and the back of the plane. No bathroom in this plane. Um, had to make a, a pit stop. There's Steve. We must be getting close to um, Perth, are we? On my, uh... Yeah, we are actually. You know what? Let's put this back on the screen. Oh, don't, don't crash! Don't crash! No! I tried to put my. Uh... <sighs> I tried to put my um, VFR back on screen. I'll be back in a second. Been a long time since I've had a crash to desktop. Oh my god. Try and jump in where Steve Ring was. If he's uh, paused, that'd be awesome. If not, we'll just jump in with him. my screen back on I'm still loading in um, <clears throat> it's taking a little longer than normal and it seems to have this gray thing down the bottom so it didn't like something um, 
Um, what a shame. We we're 80 something, 3% or whatever um, there. And we're 3 hours 52 in. It probably was actually going to be a 4 hour and 10 minute flight, like it said it was. Um, maybe a fraction more. So I'm going to load back in uh, and get um, back to where um, Steve Rings was on the map. Okay, so we were in a P38, 3,000 feet, 83% uh, of the of the path. Wow. Just outside YPPH, which is uh, Perth Airport International. Um, Slow blue line down the bottom. That's that's painful. That, that's actually loading slower than normal. Who was saying earlier? 15 minute loading time for the, one of their friends. All right, there we go. Now it's at least got rid of that light grey. But normally there's just a blue line on black. I don't know. We'll get in. At least we've got some music to listen to. Crash to desktop simulator. It's pretty accurate, isn't it? Oh, now it's brown down the bottom. Don't race ahead though. Oh, I don't think my sim's having fun. Or didn't crash right properly before. I don't know. We'll find out. See if we can get in and catch up with uh, Steve. Desktop black simulator. Well, while that's loading, let's find something else I can show you. Um, here's something else I got coming out very soon. So I've got a, uh, a flight where I've got this aircraft. Um, it is a B-36 with six engines, but though the one I show you has 10 engines. So this is a six, three props on each side, but they also had a set with two turbines per wing um, ends that are very much like the B-52s. So I'll have a uh, video out on this one uh, soon as well. Okay, this is taking forever to load. I'd like to finish this flight, but um, this is taking a while. Uh, what other planes do I have coming out? Not what that is. Oh yeah, this one. I tried this one. Did not work very well. Uh, British... Uh, prop uh, I think I deleted it because it didn't so these are for the um, stuff that I normally um, showcase uh, so what else do we have wow this is taking forever I think after a crash uh, without a restart of the computer it probably doesn't like it I oh, know, there we go. We're in. Alright. Map. There's Steve. How far out is Steve? Let's set him as a departure. I'll redo my fuels, flight conditions. Pretty high. I'll redo my fuel when I get in and going. I know we were down to 74 on the uh, main ones and uh, 19 and 20 on the reserves and that was it I'd like to get back to that but what we'll do is we'll get ourselves some stable flight and then we'll readjust everything to match what we had before
Right, it's popping me in and saying 94%. I guess they've continued. Well, that's fine. I don't mind. There we go. Oh, it's loading in all the weather. Alright, it is, it is loading in at something. Oh, it's putting up my VFR map. I'm not going to put that back on the screen for you guys, because that uh, didn't like it. Alright, there's the highway. Steve, I'm back behind you, mate. And getting all of a few frames a second, I'm sure. Keeps going down to 13. But once we get to control this, all right, now we're st stable, are we? No, we keep hiccuping. Oh, it's loading something in. Hiccups, look at that. Is it loading in information that's missing or what, what's it doing? Come on, back to smooth where we were before. Oh man, this is painful. Loading in on someone. And, and it's like, no, no, I need all this information. Before I can give you smooth flight. Either that or the latest GPU. Drivers. Doesn't like doing it. Hello. When you're ready, Sim. Needed to restart my computer, didn't I? Are you loading in? Sims taking ages to load. 204 millisecond ping. There we go. That's probably one of the reasons. Figured something was wrong there.
20 and 19, that's what they were before, now we're down to 66. Yeah, that's closer to what we were before. All right, cool. That's how we were before we crashed, um, and I've gone way off the road there by doing that. Okay, and we also got, who is it? Pippin somebody. All right, let's get that camera back on. Yay! Now, if any time I wanted to swear in any of my streams, when that loaded in and struggled, that'd be the time I'd want to have a choice swear word ready. following Steve now. Hi, welcome to Brett Plays with Steve Ring's Guide. Alright, how are we going now? It seems to be working fine. It's nice and smooth. But wow, loading in, I have found that loading in weather changes also uh, becomes a problem. If I were to change Probably to live weather would be no problem, but if I'm to change time and weather, uh, I often get a huge hit like that. So I'm guessing this is the road we're following, is it, Steve? Outer reaches of Perth. The outer suburbs, is it? I remember it being flat and dry when I was over here, but I don't remember where I was staying. Admittedly, though, that was the 80s um, when I visited. So we did miss just a little bit back there where Steve continued, but I'm not going to go and uh, finish that off. There's only more of this road coming in. Um, at least get the landing. Uh, maybe when I get back to it, I'll uh, put in an edit and say this part was missing because of the crash. But there's the airport. Oh my god, we are already getting there. All right, so Steve went a fair bit further. I'd say we didn't even have that much fuel. line of dirt. I have no idea what that is. It's almost like a, a V-shape or a triangle. I wonder what that is. Maybe that's sort of some sort of right? No, that's an old airport. Or a new airport. It's covered in dirt. Maybe they're rebuilding something. Bring this in for final and then oh, don't crash again. Is this seriously a memory leak that's so bad that it crashes? Oh wow, I've frozen completely. No, there we go. Wow, what was that? That was terrible. Dog catfish says hello, hello, dog catfish. 
Whoa, something just happened and that just uh, did not like Perth Airport. Welcome, now following, welcome, welcome, welcome. We are, oh, how are, four hours and eight minutes into a stream and we're finally getting to Perth uh, Airport. We're landing our P38. And I'm still coming in way too fast. There's Steve, we'll pop back in. I must have had some uh, glitch trim. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, trim's, trim's good. It's in, it's in, in all nice and level. Oh, I left this one a little, uh, a little late. We can actually land it on the center line this time, since we are in the middle of the plane. Ha, whoa! What was that? 1,821 feet per minute descent? Oh, that was terrible then. Is that, is that true? Oh, God. We we're not getting that exit. We could not break quick enough. There's an SR-71 on Perth Airport over here. Yes, I do have the SR-71 FSX one reinstalled. Um, Steve, mate, I'm going to have to go and park over near that. You're welcome to come and join me, but... Uh, SR-71 is pretty novel. You can't pass up a... Uh, well, it looks like it's getting landing gears up. Uh, can you fly over Oklahoma later? Uh, yeah, yeah, not today, not in this stream, I mean, four hours in. Um, do you reckon I can beat the car? But, I could do a flight there. Mate, where would I go? You know, what's with the, you know what, let's just park it right smack in front. Oop. I've done the same, turn the wheel. Park my front wheel on the front of that line. Oh, couldn't have done that better myself. Oh, hang on, I did do that. Um, unlock up, windows down. We forgot to change our pilot. What have we got? 54. So that's pretty, pretty close. Um, all right, we got our P38 and engines off. Thank you very much. Love this. Um, yeah, yeah, Oklahoma, mate. Uh, come and join me on my Discord and put in a hey, yeah, would love to see you fly. I don't know, choose between certain cities or something like that, and. Um, yeah, I'd be happy for that. I might even put a uh, a channel on my Discord that says, hey, suggest a flight. And people can uh, say, you know, maybe an aircraft like this or an aircraft like that. Um, Brett Brown says, didn't look like trim was okay when you... <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, as soon as I put the gear down, whew, down went the nose. Yeah, I, sh I should have. Um, as soon as I put the gear down, though, flaps works better because it... Uh, puts the nose back up. Um, I should have done that. Uh, looks like uh, it landed wheels up. Um, the SR seventy one is yeah, it's it's wheels in the ground by the looks of it. Um, you know, Mig twenty nine there too. Uh, cool. Sorry, Steve, mate, I come and parked over here. I know you're over that side. Um, it says, nice watch, catch you tomorrow. Maybe. All right, mate. Let's get a quick look at... Uh, let's see if this is the FSX version or the Fly Sim Squad. This is the FSX because it's got the skunk on the back. Yes, it is. I'm going to take this one out for a fly sometime soon too. Don't think I've got the afterburner working on this. Might have to have a look and see if I can 
work out how to do that. Um, that was a lot of fun. Welcome to Perth International. So next Sunday, I will probably do another of the same. And we will go from here to, I have no idea how far we're going to get. Um, but it won't be all the way to Adelaide. Thank you very much for Steve for joining, mate. Been awesome. Looks like he's parked in over the top of a uh, another plane. He has. Uh, we've also got our little uh, helicopter in MH16, and this is the Leonardo that I was flying last night. Uh, M346 Leonardo. Aramachi. Yep, military two engine transonic trainer aircraft. You can pause that later and read it. This is an FSX conversion as well, but there is one coming into the game soon. All right, I'd like to say thank you very much uh, for those who um, subscribed. Welcome, uh, Dog Catfish, uh, Geomatrix, uh, Doozy, Semi. Uh, also, for those who. Um, our members, thank you very much, Steve, for flying with me uh, nearly the whole entire way. I, I think we might have missed you right at the beginning, but I think you caught up pretty quickly, so that's pretty awesome. Um, just like to say thank you very much, and have a great day. Cheers. Stay.